everyone for joining us on episode A of Comics, Cannabis, and Pop Culture. This week we are going international. Hope you uh, maybe heard an Austin Powers voice in your mind when I said that. You know, I'm not very good at it. That's not my forte. Anyways, before I go any further, as always, parental discretion is advised. Uh, no one under the age of 21 allowed to view. Um, we use foul language, drug reference, all that good stuff. So, yeah, if you're 18, don't watch. Or not at least 18, don't watch. And um, so, yeah. Anyways, let's get started with my first guest. Um, you know, she's my bestie and my one of my main co-hosts. And I always have to have her on the show. So, Miss Shorty, thank you for joining me. What's up, everybody? And then behind her, I have, you know, what's a duo when it could be a trio. So we have Miss Lady Fantastic as well. And okay. you know, when all three of us are together, I have to play this every time. Every time. Love an exit of that little job. It's still my favorite every time. It warms my freaking heart. <laughs> Shout out to Weapon. Right, for sure. So we have some very special guests this evening. Um, when I said we're going to international, meaning I have a couple special guests for the panel this evening. Uh, the first one up, many of you know him as uh, Simple Simon, and he is all the way in Australia, but he is joining us on this fabulous panel this evening. So welcome, Simon, to the show. Oh, you're That's right. right. Uh, last. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I don't want people to see my eyes right now. <laughs> yeah, blame you there. And then um, next from Canada, we have Mayor Marlin. Many of you know him, see him in our streams quite a bit. Huge. Hey guys, how's it going? What's up, Marlin? What's up, man? And then tonight, we have a newbie as well. Um, their names are Dustin and Amanda. They are from Canada. I mainly chat with them on Instagram, but was like, hey, why don't you guys come join me on this show? Didn't tell them what it was about. I had no idea. Uh, so be very welcoming chat <laughs> and welcome them to the stream. <laughs> hey, guys. Be very welcoming. This is their first live stream ever. So we are we oh, are in their cherry tonight, guys. Well, thanks so much for um, choosing us. We'll be gentle. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, we're, we're in Canada. Canada. So we're in Canada. Canada. She can speak for herself. She's speaking for herself down there. <laughs> Shorty, Shorty's, uh, we're a little outspoken around here. That's why I have to have the viewer discretion as advised before we even start the show, you know, so they don't just shut me down. Um, real quick, though, uh, hang on just a second. I love your glasses. They're the best. We're going to come through the chat and say hello. So it looks like we got Las Cruces joining us. You know, he's always first to everybody's stream. He gets, man, Las Cruces, big supporter, big, big supporter. Oh, then we got Kirk. Happy birthday, Kirk. Happy Easter, whatever holiday, you know. How we do it. I, I, felt like shit. I felt like total shit because I forgot to tell Kurt happy birthday. I'm such a shitty friend. I'm sorry, Kurt. Happy birthday to Kirk. Happy birthday. Oh, he's going to kill me later. <laughs> um, And then we have uh, Ghostly SD and Binder Productions joining us. Thank DB. you. You're new to the chat. Awesome. Yeah, that's Binder Binders. He's my buddy. That's awesome. I'm glad he's joining. Always happy to have more. You know, the family and community can never grow enough. Right on. And Goat's here, too, from Adventures with Goat. Woo! Yee -yee. We got Z Collects. Yo, Z. Sup, Z? Mr. Scumbag himself. Z. Had to come support the Ets, at least. Uh, you know, I could have used you last week, though. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, Z. Where the hell were you last week when your Scum Ets needed you, okay? Just going to throw that out there. Jen, thank you for joining us. We're happy to have you. Haven't seen you in a while. Ventures with Goat. Yep. Always stay puffing. If you ain't puffing really, what are you doing? Probably being an asshole to people. That's what you're doing, honestly. <laughs> so, 
Um, to get started, yeah. I'm going to start with the guest. Oh, yeah, Mayor, started. are you smoking this evening? And if so, what are you smoking on? Cannabis. Cannabis. Does it have a name? Oh, I got some. <laughs> Nuff said. Nuff said. Next. Frozen tuna. Oh, oh. There. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you can see that right there. Whoa, that's nuggy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, hold on. I'm going to make you big. Show it Whoa. again. <laughs> we want to see well, again. Too close. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that is super pretty. Oh, yeah. Look at them red hairs. Cha ching. <laughs> covered in crystals, too. As I say, look at all them crystals. They're heavy. Yeah, they look pretty dense. <laughs> And then, um, what about? Well, we all know since I've been smoking, but we are gonna ask what he's smoking on. <laughs> he's good to go. <laughs> totally. Okay, so crazy. my Not first question roll, to you so is: to go. We'll start, uh, Mayor, and then work our way down. Where are you from? That's what everybody wants to know. Where in Canada? I'm from Canada myself. Um, Alberta. It's the second province over from the oh, west coast. I'd say I'm on that side of the Rocky Mountains, not the ocean side. So if we get a big tsunami, hopefully the mountains will stop it and I will stay dry. And my, <laughs> joints, will, my joints will still light. So there we go. Hey, and also, of course, matters. recreational uh, is legal in this province and I think right across Canada now. So we can just go to the the dope store on the street corner and and buy what you need or you can mail order too so he's pretty the happy. with the 7-eleven around this bit <laughs> yeah it's got to be a like a dispensary kind of store they don't have it at the 7-eleven yet but that'd be cool he said can i, I mean, get a pack of marlboro and a pack of full 20. <laughs> i mean it's just a testament to to that it, it could it can be done it's not even a thing <laughs> exactly well, where we are around here, you have the government stores and then the little independent ones owned by like bikers and stuff. And they get yeah. shut down within like two weeks, but they keep putting them back up. Yeah. Which I mean, I think that they should because I don't think that the government should have a monopoly on it if they're the ones that legalize it. They're not the only ones that should have like, I mean, that's, that's not cool. That's monopoly. That's okay. What's up, Jeff? Yeah, right. Happy birthday. Right. It's my next question for you guys. For it's also Simon's birthday Happy weekend. Birthday. And it's my yeah, birthday. It's my birthday, birthday. My birthday we weekend. We're everybody up in this what field is? today. <laughs> right. Oh, nice. Oh. Like We're going to ask another question for our guest. 173. Do you get the munchies? And what is your favorite munchie? I don't really Simon. get them at all. Um, oh, I, got, I never really well, monkeys. <laughs> he said, "I don't well, get the munchies." Oh, well, we I keep the fridge filled with Pepsi. But um, usually just cook something in the middle of the night. <laughs> hey, gourmet yeah. meals at midnight. Yay. Yeah, I've <laughs> yeah, found myself eating. found myself eating in the middle of the night before too. It happens. <laughs> Tomorrow. You got it. Um, I like, uh, I fucking like cheese, man. <laughs> she's not cheese. shit either, bro. Like, I'll stop by to hang out with her, and she's like just sitting over there munching. The next thing you know, want string cheese? <laughs> I like cheese. Oh. I like cheese and a cracker. I like a good I cheese. I like crackers with cheese, and I take cheese. lunch meat. That's my favorite. I call it the adult lunchable. Those are my favorite munchie. I will make meat. Like, that's the things I always have. I like a nice Havarti with Break dill. A charcuterie platter, right? She said with well, yes. now, now that now that COVID's out, uh, all the drive-throughs are twenty-four hours, so you can just go to any drive-through too. Damn, you want. that's what's up right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, depending that, on the part of the state you're in, decides on if you get twenty-four hour fast food or not. Depending really? on, really, yeah. that's what it is there. Well, wow. for us, it's depending on the chain it's and awesome. like. So, and location. And location. So if it usually if it's high volume, then it's gonna be a twenty four hour. If it's not, then it's not, you know, it just it's kind of one of those things. Like I'm freaking in the country and if you want something at two in the morning, oh your ass getting McDonald's. <laughs> Did you hear that? 
We love McDonald's. Adventures with I goats. Eat McDonald's all the time. All <laughs> The, the best oh, I'm gonna take that back. If it's Friday and Saturday, you can get some gut bombs at Crystal's because they on Friday and Saturday night they'll stay open all night. But if it's any other day of the week, Waffle House, McDonald's, that's it. Dude, Waffle House, dude, Waffle House is so good for a hangover. Or if you get like, dude, oh, that's the only time I ever go to Waffle House is when I'm like super drunk. What um? What, what, Don't you guys have Jack in the Box down there? Denny's, Denny's. Uh, it's really? really? It's not good here. We, it's not good here. We don't have it up here, but the one right over the border in Bellingham is the, the best. I don't like ours in Nashville. Yeah. No? Oh. I'm sorry. So that means when I'm down there, we won't try that. That's what you're saying. Uh, you love Nation's Hot. Is it Nation's has Hot Dogs, right? Oh, it- wait a minute. Did y'all know. just hear her drop a hint? What? Huh? <laughs> no, I didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna drop one more hint between now and like the middle of the show, and we're gonna see who can pick up on that hint. About well, what? Because none of us then. <laughs> There's literally no contact. No, I think she's aiming it toward the chat. hundred uh, percent. Okay. Yeah. Breakfast and burgers, lady, is what comments oh. on the mindset. Taco Bell? I mean, she's Taco Bell. Is that what? I have no clue. Hold on. I'll <laughs> oh, okay. So my next question is, we call, you know, we call it reefer, pot, marijuana, Mary Jane, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Here, do you guys have any different terminology or slang that you use where you're at for it? Sticky trees. Oh, dank. We say dank a lot over here. Oh, yeah, we say dank too. Dang. Doobies. Doobies, totally. Yeah. Totally. You still call it doobies? Or if you're on the code, you say uh, on PRD. The PRD for pre rolled doobie. PRD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm a dangus. Have you ever heard of people it? People don't know what you're um, talking about. Hmm. Some people like, don't know. Uh, KB, like Kind Bud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like. Uh, yeah, I just call it sometimes. I'll just call it green. I mean, yeah, that's what a little mom might call it. It's green. Just a little green. A little tree, tree. Um, so tree is new to me. Like, but definitely in the last like five years or something, smoking trees. Um, and then just do some people <laughs> refer to it as broccoli? That one I still don't understand. I've heard <laughs> kind of, well, see, because again, I'm in the south and in the country. My, you know, it'd be no big deal. It'd be like, hey, shorty, you know about them turnip greens? <laughs> or, or MJ. Her like, studies using PRD. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like I can read what people are saying. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's handy to have the chat on something. Better with Goat says you're going back to the 80s with KB. I remember 80s, when it was yeah. called. Yeah, you had like your kind bud, and then you had oh, like. Yeah. Your uh, swag in college, and <laughs> yeah, so in college, it was like uh, that's where I learned the terminology for KB, like mids or KB. And I went to college in the 2000s. Las Cruces asked you a question, Tori. That, that's what they call it on Sunny what in Philadelphia. Oh, where are you going, Tori? Oh, where are you going, Tori? Uh, going so to possibly down to Nashville. To see Shorty and Lady Fantastic face to face for the first time in May. I've never been on a plane and I've never done all of that. So why not have my first time be to go meet some badass bitches in the community? Totally. Such as myself nice. and go look for new comics and see a new place with lots of like you guys all know I'm a huge into like music Dude. and pop. We've like, pop, already pop, got we're not just we've pop. already got the weekend. <laughs> we've already got the weekend picked out. We're just waiting for that final approval before we, from my boss, before I buy my ticket. But I'm trying to get that within like the next week so I can buy my ticket and get the rest of it planned. I'm ditching my husband and the kids even. Yeah. (laughs) True story. That's called self care. And hey, shout out to mental health just to uh, give a shout out to like support your friends with that are suffering or 
and get, yeah. and care for yourself too. Just hey, man. No, for real. You're right. You're absolutely damn right. Exactly what you said. Sure, I mean, it's been much needed. It minute, Pat, think about it, if you will. That you herb is called Mexican it's brown. Be white yeah. to put the three of us together. Can you imagine the city of Nashville with the three of us on the loose? <laughs> That's shield number one. <laughs> wow, nice. That's you guys are doing. <laughs> but then this is shield number two, and it's like probably my favorite of the whole series. I've got that whole run. I've got it on my page right now for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. I don't want looking it. looking for the rest. I can fill them in. I want it. <laughs> no, she I hits love, up a lot of. I love <laughs> Tedesco art. Yeah, I got that one I was talking about here. Oh, yeah, oh, that's great, man. Captain Check it out. Captain, that is super cool. What's his power? That's funny. <laughs> that's cool, eh? It's a What's guy from DC that does it. That's oh, really? Someone that's, that's know what his power is. He's a local. Aaron, I got issue two here. What does he do? What's his power? <laughs> he basically uh, gets high and he's Superman. <laughs> But when he's not high, he's just like Clark Kent. <laughs> Did you guys so watch he, the, the newest? If he hears Falcon? sirens, he lights one up. What's up, Jay Bags? What's up, Jay Bags? Did you guys watch the recent Falcon and Winter Soldier? Yes, oh, yeah. I did. Oh yeah, baby. We haven't what seen about it you yet. Guys? No, no, yeah. no, I haven't started watching it. All right. Well, if you've seen it, you you know you know why I'm showing this. So, Ooh. oh yeah, I already know. Yeah, Scott, I can't believe he's in it, eh? Does he look good? I saw the little snippet of him holding the gun on top of the building, but that was it. Here's some for you potheads that have messed with your eyes. Yeah. Ooh, oh, it does mess with my eyes. Hang on, sure. What the oh, heck? Like Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. I've never even seen that before. I didn't that know that they made a 3D elf. Crazy. That is crazy. I like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, I could do this all day. Uh, do you smoke more for medical reasons or recreational reasons? Is going to be my next question. I've been smoking since I was 12, but now I think I smoke for more medical reasons. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'll be 40 in June, just FYI. And that's only because I live in Canada and I grew up in a small town called De Roche, and it's actually unincorporated. <laughs> is that that's is that only only because you live there is why you're turning 40? No, because <laughs> I smoked <started laughs> pot when I was 12, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I'm 40 now because I grew up in a small town. Yeah, it'll do that. I grew up in a small town too. Cool. <laughs> and I'm getting close to 40. I'm still in a small town, and I just turned 40. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> there you go. Boom. It's happening to all of us apparently. Oh, oh I know. Me. What's going on? What part of baby? baby? I won't <laughs> lie. <laughs> he's he's in Alberta. Hey, do you live near Banff? Uh, like 300 clicks from Banff. Oh, that's not far. I lived there for a year. In 1999, I lived in Banff. <laughs> I guess I am closer than you guys, possibly, if you're all the way at the coast, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there you go. I like it. <laughs> uh, do, doing the uh, MJ and listening to music is a very yeah. enjoyable uh, thing for me. When I get my next that was going to be my next question, actually, is... Uh, what are some of your favorite things to do while you're smoking? Oh. Do you have a favorite song to listen to while you're smoking? Yeah, and someone said Banff, so like hiking in the mountains. And Banff also has excellent sushi restaurants. So like, you know, all the go. restaurants there are so good. I actually I worked at I actually worked at the Banff Springs and the oh, Magpie and Stump. You ever is that place still there? I've eaten there, so yeah, totally. Oh, God. small I world. But we're like, we're neighbors. We're oh, we are. Awesome. We're probably only a few hours from each other. It's trippy. No, I'm <laughs> 74. I'll have you do. So, you can't um, read it up. Um, 
How long have she's been smoking since she was 12? So how long have the rest of you guys been smoking? I don't know. Me since about 14. <laughs> I gave up a few years ago. <laughs> but I smoked for about 18 years before that. Yeah. Um, I first tried it when I was 20. I was 13 and I've been smoking since. <laughs> and I will be 29 on the 29th. Oh. I'm so oh, excited. <laughs> yeah. okay. You pretty much yeah. did. I think I first, encountered, I first encountered marijuana because of snowboarding. And I think I was maybe on a mountain snowboarding the first time I smoked a joint with someone at somewhere at the gap between kind of junior high, high school level kind of thing there. But yeah, very entertaining. Mm hmm. And so, yeah, recreation like, yeah. on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it hooked ever since. Weekend time, hell yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much where it was at. Like, I did my schoolwork, but then when I was, like, on the weekends, I'd just hang out. And all my other friends would get hella drunk. And I'd be like, oh, I just, I, I'll just i just sit and smoke some weed and watch you guys puke. Like, you need a bottle of water? Like, <laughs> not my I'm, life. I'm exactly yeah, I'm the exact same way. I've not had a drink since 05, and all I do is smoke. I can't even, don't even think about it. Uh -huh. Like, I'm not a big drinker at all. Just hey. socially for me, too. Like, I don't drink when no one's around. I don't have a drink by myself ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. Myself. Fair. <laughs> smoke weed by yourself. That's fine. I don't need someone there to smoke a joint with. That's fine. Right. Some yeah, people, no, think, they pride themselves. On, like, I remember people saying that, oh, I would never smoke a joint by myself, but that's a different kind of joint smoker. So, they're, they're, they're just yeah, I know. I remember telling a story in grade nine when I was went around the side of the house to get baked, and I was telling my friends, and they're all like, well, you didn't call me. You didn't call me. I was like, no, I just wanted to be baked. How dare you go by yourself? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what it was. I enjoy the music, I enjoy sit it like being introspective oh. and. We used to just Frank Beck, Lady oh, F. Did you listen to Beck ever? Yeah, Odele. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> the, the, his Beck and the Odele album with me, man. Yeah, well, and the the loser one or whatever. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. <laughs> there was Mellow a lot of Gold. Gold. Track song I think that one was Mellow Gold or something. Mellow Gold. There you go. Not loser, yeah. but it had a song called. I was yeah. such yeah. into that, man. Yeah. I was really that kind of stuff was fun. Cranking the black lights in your teenage bedroom, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> Having the glow posters everywhere. And I never had the black dress. lights, but I always loved going to the friend's house who had them because I felt fucking cool. <laughs> My brother had one of those, you know, those globes that have the electric bolts the yeah, 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 the plasma things? Yeah. 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 Lava lamp. Yeah. These are like Lava the cool lamps, kid requisites. Yeah. Requisites, yeah. Totally. Uh, or the little... The little frog you'd throw on the wall and it would climb down on its own. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. no remember that. <laughs> I had sea monkeys. Trippy. Led Zeppelin. That's amazing. I recently just got a Led Zeppelin comic, Kirk. Uh, <laughs> I like didn't you get that off, Didn't you get that off me? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. the whole thing one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yep. glad you got that one. I got the a whole stack of those. That's the only the one I've told. one was actually an AOK -okay for another member in the community. His name's What the Deuce, and he really loves Wu Tang Clan, so I actually picked it up for him. So I was super oh, stoked cool. to get it because then I sent him those and like a whole bunch of Elvira's and stuff the other day. Should be there Plastic any day. Beach, um, Plastic Beach is a great album by the Gorillas. Um, it is. Um, I love the Gorillas. Um, man, I looked up the Bonnaroo lineup this year is really good, Woo! especially in, like day awesome. two. Um, the what? Bonnaroo. Oh, it's a it's a thing in Tennessee. It's like a festival, a music festival. Oh. And, What's uh, that? Um, it's gonna be in September this <coughs> year. But like um on this on day two, Saturday, Lizzo is gonna be there and uh like my morning jacket, uh Sylvan Esso, like uh John Batiste, like a bunch of really cool people. So I'm Freaking excited. Badass this year, bro. Like I'm coming to see you guys in May. I could maybe come again in September because I'll be busy. Oh. Like I'll be busy with rally after that. 
it would be cool because right. man, like it's usually take it takes place in June, and man, you guys, Tennessee in June is unbearable. Yeah, Especially, that's what I'm trying to do is come see you before it gets too hot. Well, and it's like, dude, it, all the people do at Bonnaroo is like <laughs> they get shit faced out of their minds and they get too hot and they end up puking and freaking out. And it's just like, I don't want to be around that shit. No. I guess I, I missed it, but I'd still like to go. It, I don't care. I mean, I wouldn't that's want to do I, That's why I don't eat mushrooms. No one wants to see me barf all over the place. So, like, I'll smoke some reefer at a party, but <laughs> yeah. everyone's eating mushrooms, handing that around. No. I'm not going to. No. Uh, yeah, mushrooms are everywhere where I am right now. You can get mushrooms easier than weed. Some people that's can really cool. tolerate it. I think there's people. Yeah, yeah they're everywhere up here. Different, different kind. In Canada, I throw, yeah. I throw up every time. Every time I take mushies, I throw up, which is why oh, I so always. You're, you're, you're the same as me then, yeah. But I know yeah. some people that oh, they're always so good and, uh, than everybody else. I, I, I am, it's been a long time since I'd done it, but when I, the last time I did it, I had an amazing experience. Um, it was so positive. Cool. And, like I felt great for like six months afterwards. I felt great. It like was like spiritual reset. Hey, you really got it. Like, yeah. I just wow. sat outside and I listened to like the wind rustle through the leaves of a tree. And it seemed like it was almost like symphonic. And I just like felt a real connectedness with like anything that was alive. And uh, it was great, man. It was such a great feeling. And if you put yourself in a safe place and you have intention behind something, those experiences can be therapeutic, but For real. you know, I just did them before Christmas, and uh, it's That's I was scared. Way. I felt like the world was ending. I was freaking out really bad. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. I had a great, oh, wow. amazing time. I've heard it's context yeah. dependent. It's in my bedroom too, with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and she was high, loving it, and I was oh, like balled up on the bed. Too, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I know, isn't that brutal? Oh god! <laughs> but for, four times before that, though, uh, I did it and it worked out good. Yeah. But now I'll never do them again. Well, yeah, I that shit. sounds. I can't. I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh man, I guess I just have to do this because I'm a brat. Um, but uh, half price books. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. But I found this today for a dollar at Half Price Books. Birds of Prey 56. Nice. This is where uh, Gail Simone first jumps on into into the writing. But it's also a newsstand. Uh, it's recently just like a $25 book. Okay. Um, found it for a dollar. That's the shit that I live for. That is a good score. That's a really good score. I'm going to tell you right now. Speaking nice. of Gail Simone, man, we were freaking flabbergasted one night because uh, Not Near Mint was doing um, his cha uh, his show that he does on Wednesday night. And, dude, this woman came in, Gail Simone, freaking in, in the, the chat. chat. Yeah, she's a, an author. Like, so. we totally got to hang out with Gail Simone for a while. It was fucking epic. Um, really? Oh, that was awesome. Adventures with Goat. I think what I I I think I did a half eighth. I think I did a and so and and that and my experience was just. Um, I also got this from Hulk Nuts on IG, um, but it's got four different signatures on it, and it's signed by oh, wow. um, Mark Wade, um, uh, George. Uh, Jeff Johns, Grant Morrison, and Greg Rucka. So there's that one, and then there's that's the first appearance, isn't it? Yeah, of uh, is it's that one. um, yeah, but it's Kate or I can't remember her name. Kate Kane. Kate Kane. Yeah. And there you go. Thank you. Yeah, that's a really good one. That's a hot book. I got <laughs> a, one of those as well. Kurt was there. He remembers that night. He got to fucking hang out. It was so. Here we go. <laughs> So, I was. See what I got. Yeah, there's this guy. I don't know if you guys are on um, um, Instagram, but uh, his name's Hulk Nuts. Hulk I'm on Instagram. Hulk Nuts. And that's a Z. It's 
I, Oak Nuts with a Z. <laughs> and I uh, just found this in a box today. That's nice. awesome. Space Usagi, yep. That's Number great. Number one. Man. It's the Chicken. one the new TV show is based off. Yeah. That's gonna <laughs> beat up. I know. I, I just bought a collection a little while ago, and there's a whole box of just Yosagi. Oh, I don't wow. know what the yeah. Um, almost every issue is in there. It's out of your eye. Looks look really cool. Wow. Okay. Well, you know. So I'm Obviously. trying to figure out. I, I'm on Instagram too. I have a page where I sell comics. That's how I know Tori actually. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, you know the. Uh... Marvel Illustrated with the She-Hulk in it that I just got, Lady Fantastic. Yeah, that thing was. Oh yeah, yeah, the big that's magazine. who I got it from. Was oh, it? Oh no yeah, yeah, that was for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a good one. Eh? What's your I'm name on the? Uh, What's your name? Space Hulk three thousand. I'm Kara Syrup eight four. I'm gonna go and like friend or you know follow you. Yeah, yeah go follow me right now. Yeah, I'll follow you yeah. back when I get off. Of I'm doing it. Stuff. Um. Yeah, definitely. Uh, chill, dude. I've been, what, since before Christmas or since before Thanksgiving, really, I've been talking with you on and off, Dustin. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we've like books and stuff. I'm yeah. following you, Space Hulk. Yeah, that's it. That's the account. Yeah. Yeah, follow me. I'll hook I you am. up big time. I throw all kinds of extras in with every purchase. I'm following really? you. Already. Okay, I'll go ahead and admit, Shorty's going to be the one that's not following him. Watch, guys. You see the rest of the panel up here is Tori and Miss Lady. They were following him. Now, watch. Shorty going to pull it up, and it's going to be like, no, bitch. No go. I don't know. Anymore. Well, and apparently, um, for now on, I need to age restrict my videos after the video's made because nobody can comment unless they have their age put into YouTube right now. Yeah. Having a oh, I already am. I already am. Booyah. Nice. I'll see. Thank you. It does yours, but I have fond memories. Hey, Geeks and Drinks. Thanks for joining. At least I think that's you. Is your profile picture Hulk? That's badass. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's Hulk. Isn't it beautiful? Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anything, yeah. everything on there is for sale. Yeah, I saw. Let me show you uh, the one that I've got. I've got the Dynamic Forces. Uh, oh, nice. That's still Kian. Yeah, those things are going nuts right now, eh? I'm not Red I'm gonna get rid of mine. Yeah. There's some things I'm willing to let go. Like, I had three copies of that Vision or uh, West Coast Avengers 45. I got rid of all three. White Vision? Yep. I got all three of them, rid of them in a week and had 300 bucks in my pocket. And I can sleep just fine at night. You know what I did? I used to have um, the first appearance of Miles Morales, the second print. I got like 40 of them from this right. comic shop and I I'm sold them all in a dollar box. No. Kurt, please do your thing. Now they're like four hundred bucks. I know, dude. That would make me nauseous a little bit. Put them oh, in there, Kurt. You got it. Treating myself. Damn. Um. Oh, I got this recently. Um. I don't know. Maybe I showed this already. I can't even remember. I saw that just on your live before. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just when we went live before. Look, he included this awesome Gwenum um, sticker. Oh, shit. That is cool. Wow. Yeah. Badassery. That's a really Jamie cool. Tyndall sticker, isn't it? Um, I believe so. Those are way beautiful. It says, Spider-Man dies. I make boy cr boys cry. Yep. One of them hates Parker. Like, yeah, it's by awesome. Jamie Tyndall, and he actually doesn't even make stickers anymore. Oh, shit. Really? It's a yeah. sticker. It's badass. I went to go order them the other day because he had like a huge set, but you know, like <laughs> stickers with that artwork are not super cheap. So I went to go order some the other day and he actually does not have them listed ah! any longer. Sorry. I may have dropped something important. Oh Maybe. no! Horrible. Oh, he dropped out. Dude, oh, you know, that's weird. That's, that's, I wonder if I'll be back. 
I don't probably get showed my phone's too bright. Okay, yeah, yeah and I fixed, the, I fixed the chat, so hopefully we'll get some streamers back. But if nothing else, how are you, Simon? You've been I'm extra right. quiet this evening. I know. It's on your Google <laughs> account settings, and it right? says birthday. It asks you when your birthday is, so I just told it how old I was on my Google account. I never knew you could do that, so that's weird. Here. Yeah, there you go. Saturn. Because I can Looks still do the chat on my browser. Anyway, I'll shut up. Interesting. Ooh. That's a boobie. Oh, oh. That's scanning. That's scandalous. <laughs> well, I'm trying to have a uh, sexy cover off with Simon while he has time off of work because that's what he likes to do is have a uh, sexy no. cover battles on his I YouTube channel. I show books then because I got Good books ones. from Chris in the mail. I just haven't done a mail call yet. so. Oh, yeah. You can show off some books. Definitely. Yeah, man, show it. Yeah, because my viewers probably won't uh, see it this but, uh, Yeah, show us what you're working with. I won this on... Carolina Chris two six. He's two, awesome. Six. So he does it. I don't have my fists up. I love him, dude. Congrats there. Yeah. Anyway, so it came in the mail and it didn't get destroyed all the way to Canada. Hey, oh, yeah. Justin, I, I buy books from him, and he's all the way in Canada. My books have not come destroyed. He packs them very well. Ooh. That is a good lady death. Bad butt. Mostly Batman and retro video shit in my collection. That's awesome. It's way awesome. Ooh, that's a good lady death cover too. Oh, yeah. I didn't even look at these yet. This is the first time I'm seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked the better. tape on it to do it for my mail call, but then I was going to save it so I could do like... Ooh, ah, what is this, Chris? I don't know what he even sent me. That's a good one. Second print. Thank you, Shorty, for dropping the links. Much, much appreciate, appreciated. So, and there you while go. we're hanging out looking at books, uh, we kind of know how your country views marijuana and their users. M Marlon, how does your yeah. country kind of view marijuana and their users, Simon? Australia. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's not. There's, there's a town actually up here um, called Nimbin. It's in in New South Wales somewhere, and it's. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's. It's not legal there, but it's just like a go-to place to do it. Like okay. everyone there, um, it's, it's just a little strip of shops, and everyone there is just selling pot, and it's like a it's like a thing. <laughs> I went there when I was like in my early twenties, um, just to check it out. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's still illegal so i guess well obviously people are a lot more open-minded to it these days so people don't really care a lot of people think it's stupid so yeah but that's why it's so different here compared to you guys you guys are talking about all your stories about being able to buy this and buy that in a dispensary like that's so foreign to me <laughs> yeah i wish i had those options yeah liquor store bud store bud store is a real thing now but even when you guys are talking about like your different strains and stuff i don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> like on your first episode of this story i watched you guys were like uh -huh. showing all the stuff and like um i was like what the hell is all this stuff you guys got so yeah i didn't even understand it on the same level as you guys um since the marijuana boom i would say between america and canada they've definitely been playing with the science of it a lot more and have come with more than just the flower itself so now not only do we know what different hemp um, qualities and properties it brings, such as hempcrete, hemp clothing, gas, you know, natural things such as that that it can produce. We now are breaking down the flower more itself into a higher consistency, I guess, of actual THC and its different cannabinoids that it has into it and whatnot. And they that's where they've now started experimenting further from hash into the different waxes oils um cbd by itself apart from the thc i mean that was its whole breakthrough all on its own definitely a lot and lady can go more into the different chemistry that they've definitely spread out upon over the past what would you say 10 to 15 years lady especially yeah probably so um i mean it's to the point now where there are um analytical labs that are dedicated to 
um, or that are outsourced to um, these these pot shops, like in say Colorado or whatever, and they do their own quality control. So they have their own like um, GCs, like uh, a GCMS is gas chromatography mass spec. And you can literally um, <laughs> basically like quantify the exact um, amounts of the different profiles of like cannabinoids, the spectrum or like um, the THC like profiles and, and, you know, it's just a, I mean, it's gotten, it's just down to the science. It's gotten very specific. Um, the genetics has gotten to the point to where there's databases and seed banks. And I mean, they've got these things, you know, highly organized, um, you know, it's just, um, it's growing and it's serious and there's money to be made. And um, there's no real logical reason not to, to let it be an open market thing. I'm a huge fan of hempcrete. If I could build my own home out of hempcrete, I definitely like would do that. You know what I mean? It takes 90 days to grow hemp, takes 15 years on average to grow a tree and hempcrete will eventually fossilize itself and turn into its own, like, you know, mask its environment to some degree. <clears throat> I mean, you know, it's just like, uh, the arbitrary nature of um, law and schedule the scheduling thing. It's just, I mean, really it starts to need to question this, this whole idea of things that we make legal and not because the, the way our, the, the way our nation views drugs and the criminal system as it pertains to drug possession is not effective. So uh, that's a whole other thing. But anyways, it's just stupid, basically. <laughs> so, um, let's see my next one. If you had a favorite stoner comedy, what would it be, Simon? Half baked. Half baked. That one's your favorite. Yeah, that's probably. a really good one. It's probably the one I watched the most. I think back in the day. So, or well, more rats. That was a good one. Mall rats. I do love mall rats. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh that's rats. hilarious some of the Cheech and Chong ones are funny too though of course Up in Smoke is classic oh yeah so uh, let's see what's the next one what's the first thing you ever smoked out of oh yeah you have different terms for your guys' smoking devices over mm -hmm. there compared to what we have so we have like our bongs and our pipes and carburetor you know your carbs on your bongs and things like that what are the different terminology you guys use simon uh billy is one of them a the billy who are bong um oh well, i just said something in I had a good i'm one. gonna go smoke my billy <laughs> oh, you know, like do you want to go smoke some billies um oh. but we also have a thing called a springer so it's basically just a plastic tube with the stem in it Okay. And then you, you can just put it on top of any bottle sort of thing. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you guys have that or what you call it. It's just like a PVC pipe sort of thing. Oh, not PVC, but some rubber sort of pipe thing. And it's got the stem in there. You just buy the cone and all you got to do is put it on a... We normally have a juice bottle called a Spring Valley bottle because that's the brand of the juice. And we call them Springers because that's the best bottle to use with those things. Right. So huh. they, they, that was like your cheapest option. You could just buy the neck and then just go buy a... Spring Valley juice, <laughs> and there's your bone. Very cool. Oh, there's your belly. Very cool. <laughs> Interesting. Um, nice. We call uh, it MacGyvering when you make your own homemade smoking device. You MacGyver oh, yeah. it. I felt so <laughs> bad making people's hoses back in the day. I was like, man, I don't want to take this guy's hose. <laughs> so bad. I was like, I felt so bad when we had to do those things. <laughs> I'll never um, forget my mom one time was going to, I'll, she like, well, I don't remember what she was doing. She's cooking or something. And she looked at her kitchen screen window and I'd cut out a little square out of the screen. Cause I needed one for my metal pipe. And all I heard was Victoria Lynn, I'm going to kick your ass. And I was like, Oh no. Oh, shit. She found that screen. I was like, I don't even need to ask you what I did mom. And she's like, yeah, Dude, you know what? Check out what I, was, I was so grounded. <laughs> Check I out what Ghosty said. He said he he uses a Silver Surfer 
a vaporizer attached to a bong, a, va it's, a vapor bong. It's that. a brand. It's it's a brand and it's a really high grade <laughs> brand of vaporizer. Um, it's like one of the nicest gr grades on the market, I think. Fuck yeah, rookie. But that's a but is this a nice vape? That's a nice vape. Do any of you guys vaporize? <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I have, but I don't own one. I mean honestly, I just uh, use a glass spoon like a glass pipe. Because I just thought when I I tried it for a while because I was trying to get off the bongs, so like um, I bought a vaporizer and I found it was a lot. I think it tasted nicer, and I felt a little bit more energetic off the high rather than when I smoke bongs, I just feel heavy. I want to sit down, not do anything. I just want to sit down and play video games or nothing, you know, but yeah. when I was vaporizing, I found I was a lot more, I could do stuff. I was more yeah. functional. Well, you're getting a very like specific. So like only certain things will combust at that like um, temperature. Ooh. So only the trichomes are like combusting at that point. And like not all of that particulate is burning. So you're not getting as much pollutants or like, you know, uh, other things. So, you know, basically it's an, it's a purer, you're getting a purer high, I would say. Uh -oh. Um, but anyways, I'm super t uh, tired. I yes, know. you have an option usually tomorrow too. Good night, lady. Yeah. Love your face. Thank so you what do you got lady. going on? Just the option tomorrow? Oh yeah. What oh yeah, have? I'm gonna I'm gonna be on Shorty's um, auction tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Be there, be square. There will be dad jokes and comic That's books. Awesome. And uh, hopefully a lot of laughter. And other than that, you guys Always have a lot night. of laughter. Yeah. Be safe. Um, wash your hands. Wear a mask. Wipe your booties front to back. <laughs> All right. Be safe, Miss Lady. Much love to you. Keep you down. Love down. you, Take care. See ya. See ya. See ya. I just never get tired of it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure get tired of it. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> it's nice that we lost Dustin and Amanda. Well, yeah, he said that he had dropped out, and I told him if he wanted to click back in, he should be able to figure it out. But if not, he could just hang out. Either way, they were a lot of fun. You know, totally. first time hanging out. I'm glad that they definitely came to join us for sure. It's yeah. been a lot of fun. Um, so my next one is. What is one of your favorite treasures? Because Simon, I don't know if you know, but uh, Mayor, like we mentioned earlier, is part of the metal detecting community, treasure hunting community. That's what I prefer to call them. They're treasure hunters. Um, so that's what I decided to call it. And so you have a favorite, because you know you could have a favorite pop or statue or something. What is one of your favorite treasures? I found um, my first silver coin last year. I don't really oh, have it. right. Exactly right here. But it's just a dime, you know, dug it up in a park and it was so cool. You know, at the time you get like the shakes, you're like, oh, because you found something that's actually like a precious metal and not a bottle cap and stuff like that. This is your first time succeeding as a treasure yeah. hunter, you know, and even crazier than that. I've been doing it for two years and uh, so I can reach this at least. I, I found a key, you know, it's like a mail key or something. Just a uh -huh. couple days ago, just finally got out in the spring because the snow melted. How do you metal detect for two years and you never find a key until, you know, a day or two ago? But it's that. Yeah. That's like the, woo, you know, you never know what you're going to yeah. get. I know thing. this sounds like a total nerd of me, but one of the shows that I used to enjoy watching all the time and I um, was uh, Curse of Oak Island. Yeah, you know, everyone I talks about that. that show. God, I love that show. God, I love that. Yes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah it goes Gary. Uh, what was his name? Gary. Um, <laughs> Gary something that was always did their metal detecting. He was a yeah. freaking who. He's like, we got a Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> he was awesome. Yeah. Is there anything I specific when you off after the third season? Because it seems like they're just like always finding nothing, you know. But that's right. But that was the best part about it, though, you know. What is, what's that sound? What, what are they wanting to find? Still like, going. What, Isn't it still what, going? It's got to be still going. What's Chase. the main thing you're actually looking for? Is it mostly coins and stuff if you're doing metal detecting? 
yeah, I guess so. Or jewelry, you find that gold ring once in a while or something with a diamond on it. You never know. Nice. Yeah. I oh, got Simon, this toy truck in the, in the sand just recently. That's a cool oh, find. Cool. <laughs> oh, that is a cool find. Yeah. And uh, and I'm doing it with my kid, too. It's like uh, something that gets her off of Roblox for like a little bit of time sometimes. We go to the park. Oh, wow, Ghosty. That's fucking awesome. That is way cool. So speaking of that, Native Americans call, uh, well, around here anyways, call marijuana PG. PG, yes. Pagey. We're smoking Pagey. Did you have a treasure? The devil's lettuce. Do you have an absolute favorite? Your favorite thing to show off all the time? If you had something in your collection that you always showed off, that's like your most prized possession? What would it be? Yeah, you, Simon. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Anything I know. Uh, I don't know. If I had to choose probably one, about his toe. It's probably in a box. I think it's packed away in a box somewhere. But uh, I like those little Kata the Katabukiya statues. Um, I've got a random one I can probably grab. But uh, so like these sort of ones where they do like the sort of anime style. Uh huh. Oh sweet. Um, so I like those. But there was the Catwoman one that I really wanted. It's yeah, I'm pretty sure it's packed away in a box. <laughs> and um. The very first one they released is really hard to get, and I paid top dollar for it. So maybe that. And she's showing a lot of cleavage, so it's pretty good. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, I got a new treasure in today. Um, <coughs> you know, I recently dived into Pops. Um, oh, that's no. been my thing. So I pre-ordered all the Alice in Wonderland Pops. I'm waiting for those to come in, the new line that's coming out. But this one, one, I tried to warn her, guys. Just oh, yeah. came in today. I was so ecstatic. This just like, you know, cool. Alice in Wonderland. I had to have the caterpillar. So this is my newest treasure lately. Is my pop uh, edition. Did you get the um, anniversary editions with the special box for the other characters? Um, yeah, one I think those are the ones that I just pre-ordered that are getting ready yeah. to come out. I think I got one. I, think I got one of them here. Uh, <sighs> So I had, oh, actually, I've got the normal one still as well. So I bought the normal one in the white box, and then I saw it in the anniversary box. Oh, no, is... I did not get that one. What number so is that? I... 93. So I picked okay. up that one as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, Alice in Wonderland, that's my thing. If I see anything Alice in Wonderland, like I have stamps from Granada that I found at a flea market that have Alice in Wonderland on them uh, with like a COA or whatever. And I was like, these are so cool. And I totally had to buy them. Um, that's another random thing I do is random like flea markets and stuff because you never know what treasures you're going to find. I ended up with a whole bunch of like those Marvel masterpiece cards and stuff. A uh, guy had a whole basket, like yay big, just stuff full of them and was selling them uh, like four for a dollar or something. So I was like, what would you take for the whole basket? He's all six, six or seven dollars is what he charged me for it. And I was like, dude, I'll take them all. Oh, so, really? And I was like, yeah, $7, I'll, you got yourself a deal. If you'll get a little bigger, <laughs> like, I'll take it. And so when I send out random AOKs, I throw some Marvel Masterpiece cards in there to them as well. If it's a favorite character that they like, oh, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I think I've sent Shorty one or two. Sent me what? Oh, uh, didn't you get one of my uh, Venom Masterpiece cards? Wasn't it you that I sent one of them to in a box? The only box you sent me was this one you sent recently. Mm. I thought I sent some while you still lived at the old house, too, but maybe it didn't get there. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing that. Alice in Wonderland is awesome. Agreed. I've got a uh, yeah, little Agreed. collection of Alice in Wonderland stuff. We had an exhibition come down here. It was the Alice in Wonderland yeah. exhibition. Did you guys have that? Uh -uh. There was like a virtual tea party. It was crazy. So you walk into this room and there's like a dinner table set up, but everything's white. And you uh -huh. sit down and then they project like images onto like everything in the room. So everything on the table all of a sudden lights up and there's like these ants crawling on the table and like carrying food around and stuff. And it was insane. That's amazing. They had the Hall of Mirrors or Hall of Doors or something mm. like that as well. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. 
What about you, Mayor? Is your daughter old enough to start the theme park ordeal yet? I don't know. She like only started watching movies recently. She was scared of movies as a kid. Like she's playing video games like Roblox and um, what's on the Switch? Animal something. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. She really likes Animal Crossing. That's right massive. Now. She's only eight, so yeah. Yeah, I uh, my oldest. Well, mine. Because, you know, between Cap and I, we have eight. So they range from 23 oh, yeah. down to three. But in the kid, in the house, there's 10, five, and three still because the 18 year olds moved out recently. Oh, um, but so the 10 year old always gets mad because she'll be like, I want to go do this. And I'm like, well, I'm waiting till your sisters are older because, like, mm. take yeah. a huge family vacation with all you guys, man. No, I'm not trying to, like, <laughs> it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes with lots of siblings. You get trapped in between. So, oh yeah, yeah. Are you? Do you have a lot of siblings, Simon? Uh, um. So both my parents have kids from their previous marriages. So I've got, I guess, half brothers and a half sister from my parents' previous marriage. But I'm the only child with them. So. Um, but, um, your daughter close... Sapphire is the youngest, the three-year-old. She's mine and Captain's together, so she's the only one that's both of ours together. Yeah. Mayor, Mayor, you got a lot of siblings? No, oh no, I only got just one younger brother, actually. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. I'm the youngest. I got an older brother and two older sisters. Mm -hmm. But you I'm like the way youngest, like wasn't supposed to happen. There's a... 10 years between me and my brother, 12 between me and my sister, and 15 between me and my other sister. So, like, I definitely <laughs> was like, oh, last minute. Hey, here you go. <laughs> yeah. No, I was, uh, like, me and my brother were a year and a half apart. So, we were, like, seeing each other at school, like, being, you know, only two grades apart or something like that the whole time. Yeah. Close. <laughs> and my kids are the same. So, yeah, being that spread out, you know, you didn't see anyone... You didn't see your brother or sister at school yet. No, instead they were uh, like having another set of parents or someone else, another boss pretty much the whole time. I kind of was raised like an only child. And by time I, like my first niece was born when I was nine. So I've been an aunt as long as, you know, hmm. I can pretty much remember almost. I'm actually a great aunt even. I got two great nieces and a great nephew. <laughs> Yeah, my brother has um, kids. No. Yeah. Your brother has kids? Oh, yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone started having kids. I think even the later ones are doing it now, finally. So approaching 40, you better have your kids out already. <laughs> <laughs> what you I, uh, saying? I'm from a huge family. Uh, there's actually 32 of us grandkids. Or there was 32 of us grandkids. I was grandbaby number 31. So, like. I don't know what a small family is, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Golly, somebody was busy. <laughs> right? Yeah, my grandparents had 10 kids. Crazy. Oh, to cool. hell with that. Lots of fun all the time. <laughs> so do you read comics or novels at all, Mayor, typically? Are you a reader? No, I don't read since, like, I don't know. I, I always blame it on going to university and getting degrees to go to work and stuff, like, that I read too many textbooks, and now I don't want to read for fun. So that's why I go metal detecting or play with cars, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Makes sense. I uh, actually... That's what if the I woman said on the comic books is Chris said, I hope this gets you back into reading comic books. Cause I used to be into comic books when I was a teenager. Yeah. That's, that's what were amazing. you collecting back then? Can you remember what you were into when you oh, were? Oh yeah. There was, it was spawn and X-Men and uh, Damn, some other stuff. there was a local store too in the small town I live in. And we would go there and, and grab stuff right <laughs> off the rack and then they went out of business eventually. So that kind of ended my comic collecting career. I still live in the same town I grew up in. Yeah, it's similar. Because I was into comics when I was younger. And then I think I lost access to them because the shop stopped selling them. There and then go. I wasn't into it for uh, 20 years, I'd say, or more. I recently started collecting in the past three years. Yeah, and so I now own 
a pretty decent collection, actually. I, uh, yes, we'll, we will organize this battle, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty bad. Um, Kat and I recently received 45 pounds of comics, actually. That's how bad it is. Oh, I yeah. saw that and I was like, <laughs> video, yeah. why did you buy some of those? <laughs> Uh, well, so I do a lot of AOKs and stuff out to the community as well, but our kids collect and read. We That's collect and read. Like when you're a house of collectors, you just have to obtain to everybody's likes and wants. Um, so I mean, like there was 45 pounds, 30 pounds for mine, five were calves and five were kids. Let's be real honest here. <laughs> <laughs> And I did bring another hot lady cover to show you, Simon, as well. Oh, pretty page. Now, that's a ham hawk and a half right there. I haven't got any Betty Page books. I should probably get You don't have any books. Betty Page? No, I think I should get at least one, yeah? What do you reckon? Oh, I'm going to send yeah. you some Betty Page. Don't buy any. I'm going to... Uh, nope, I'm going to have to send you some now. I actually recently looked into uh, what it was to ship stuff to to you. <laughs> really? That's not Pricing wise. <laughs> it's not cheap. Nothing's cheap anymore. And right. after Raider government going, it's going to be a lot worse. Yeah. What you say? Boom. Actually, my uh, missus, she likes Betty Page a lot. So used to anyway back in the day. That's amazing. She's one of my favorites. Her and Marilyn Monroe. I have a lot of their stuff up. Different. Uh, kind of have the house theme to some degree, like one whole wall is all my Marilyn Monroe stuff. Cause my mom's got me like a few portraits, uh, a few friends, different things like that. Then I have like a whole lots of Alice in Wonderland. And then we have up some comics and stuff and Captain's little area. I know it's kind of like a Wonderland in itself. If you're walking through the house. <laughs> cool. I love those awesome. places. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't do mushrooms and decorate. I don't advise it. <laughs> Hell no. Don't do mushrooms and do shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, uh, the community is the best part of the um, comic books. Definitely ghostly. Ghosty. I, uh, I've been part of the YouTube IG comic community more so in the past year. Uh, that's actually how I met Shorty, and it's been fabulous. Same as meeting Simon. Same as meeting Mare. Uh I love them all. Definitely my favorite part. Uh, friendships. They go a long way. Lots of love everywhere. Yeah. Um, huge support. That's what I like is how supportive everybody is. Definitely more to build you up. Not so much to tear you down. I mean, there's enough negativity in the world. We don't need to feed any more out there. Word. Ah, uh, see? Started on IG and then came over here. That's how I started. I don't know. What about you, Simon? Where'd you start? I uh, started IG on YouTube. YouTube. No, YouTube? I only, uh, yeah, I only started my Instagram just to promote my YouTube. Huh. Um, and now I've got more Instagram followers than YouTube subscribers. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, no, definitely YouTube all the way. <laughs> we'll catch up. Yeah, I've been It'll trying to figure up. that shit out. I got over 1,600 followers on YouTube or on IG, but on YouTube, I only got like 240 subs. I'm like, how does that even work? <laughs> I think you don't do much of your, because you're, oh, you know, you promote your stuff on your page. Mm -hmm. Some hmm. of it, not a lot. It depends on what I'm doing. You I know, when I'm on the hunt next yeah. weekend again. <laughs> Instagram's a really good tool for it, I think, because like I started a Facebook page for my YouTube channel and like that has you know a few of my friends follow it, but then no one sees that that stuff. Well, Instagram, because of hashtags and stuff, just a random can just see your stuff, which is I think what's good about it. Oh yeah, definitely helps out a whole, whole, whole bunch. Uh tricky, if you want to join the panel, you can just hit up Shorty. She's got the links to get you in. She's I'll the master. Uh, okay. Did y'all just hear that? Are you listening to something? Got control, baby. Boom. Control. <laughs> oh man, I did say Shorty had control, and I said that on live stream. It's all going downhill from here. <laughs> oh man.
Who is Shorty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just for that, I'm going to make him ask for it. I don't even I just was going to just you. send it to be nice. <laughs> oh, so what are some of the things different up there that you guys do compared to us down here? Or would you would you say, Mayor? Different? Mm-hmm. Like uh, acceptance of pot or anything like that? I mean, just... I brought some snacks, but we were having fun chatting. Like, we got Kinder Surprise. These things oh, Kinder Surprise is awesome. And Easter's Love coming, them. right? So these could kill children in America. I don't know. I don't get it. My children <laughs> survive these every year. It's silly. Yeah. Anyway, but there's a small toy inside. I guess it's just banned in the states for some reason. Weird. Uh, so we try to eat it in one, <laughs> in like one yeah. swallow. And then Smarties. Who's got Smarties? We got Smarties. Uh, the Smarties we get don't look like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're, they're like a clear plastic roll, like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah, see, yep. totally and then different. they're like it's weird. Canada type Smarties. Thing. Yeah, so we've got the chocolate. It's pretty much like the M and M, the plain M and M ones. It's like it's an M and M, yeah. yeah. And they're colorful. So like I may need some chocolate. <laughs> yeah. There's chocolate in the middle. Oh yeah, it is like an M and M. That is crazy. Yeah, that that is is some chalky. So they roll it up in plastic like a Tootsie Roll, like Shorty said, and then it's like a chalky, sugar, sweet taste. That's all you get. Yeah, <laughs> comics on the mind. Yep, I'm going to Canada. Hmm. What's up, Mo? Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Crunchy, hey? Yeah, no, uh, Easter is coming up. So uh, that's tomorrow for you or the next day? What time is it there? In Canada. Well. Yeah, in Canada. What time is it, Mayor? Mm. It's 11.20, 11.30. I'm on mountain time. So if you could, depends on, you could be Eastern time. Or so you're the same as me, mountain time. 11.30 mountain boom. time. Awesome. Yeah, 11.30. Mountain time is the best time, we always say. It's kind of right in the middle. Yeah. So time do you guys still point. practice daylight savings? We do, yeah. It's I think the one over maybe Saskatchewan or something. Some one of them doesn't anyway, but most uh, everyone else does. So I think Arizona is our only state that doesn't. That's like on the connecting states. Yeah, it's kind of like right when you're more in the middle than we are. I think they don't want to do. What it. about you, Simon? What time is it for you there? It is Saturday, and it is four twenty-seven in the um, PM or AM. AM. Uh, in, in the, in the afternoon. Oh man, you're gonna have a long evening. <laughs> yeah, bitches. Shorty went and raided the bunny stash. That's what she did. <laughs> no, it's just Shorty was smart and shopped for the Easter Bunny. Brought Shorty something too. Shit. Yeah, I know my sister called me and was like, hey, you don't have to make you and Steve a basket. I got you covered because you're coming here for dinner. Just got to get the kids. I was like, fuck yes. I don't have to be my own buddy this year. <laughs> oh, man. No, I uh, actually plant jelly beans with the kids uh, the night before Easter. And yeah. then the bunny comes and works his magic and grows them into lollipops the next morning and the kids have a lollipop garden to pick the next day and every now and then he's mischievous and will like silly string the yard and leave footprint you know like paw prints and stuff but uh smashes an egg somewhere weird you never know he's kind of yeah, mischievous yeah. At time. but yeah we uh plant jelly beans and grow lollipops the night before easter yeah because, well, why not? <laughs> We put uh, chocolate eggs and stuff all over Here, the house. Here, that one's for you. Oh, good night, Ghosty. Thank you for joining. Hope to have you back. See you, buddy. Shorty with the chocolate. Thanks for coming. Chocolate or Taco Bell, you already know. <laughs> Those are Shorty's two signature foods. She even has a Taco Bell cup today. That's even great. <laughs> You know, we've only got one Taco Bell here, and it's new. Okay, so do you guys have different foods on your menu than us, Simon? Uh, it's probably the same, I'd imagine. Just like burritos and tacos and other Mexican good stuff. 
but the problem is I went there and it's okay. But the, on the same street, there's like three other Mexican places and they're all better. <laughs> so, but I mean, Taco Bell is not supposed to be quality, right? It's just supposed to be, yeah, have some cheap, fast Mexican food. South of the border. <laughs> we, we have, we have oh. a Mexican restaurant called Taco Bill here. Bill? Oh, it's Bell in Canada. Taco Bill. And uh, yeah, that's our, that's our Taco Bell. Huh. I grew up in a place where not only did we have Taco Bell, we had something called Taco John's. Um, and they are personally my favorite. Plus, they also give you these things that are like, they're called potato lays, but really it's just like a mini hash brown type mm -hmm. thing, like bite hash brown with like a Mexican seasoning on it or whatever. They're mm -hmm. amazing. But that was always my preferred. But Taco Bell, uh, cheap, quick, you know, whatever. The yeah. kids every now and then there you go it's the mcdonald's of mexican food that's what i assume <laughs> <laughs> that's the best way to put that it's shorty's favorite though <laughs> yeah, the other one we have is taco time and it's more of a sit down talk but they, you know it takes time versus that's why they call it taco time it's maybe because you gotta sit down for a while <laughs> well maybe though let's go to taco time taco time <laughs> yeah, yeah. Want to go to taco i'm time. sorry that sounds like an adult version of chuck e cheese let's go there you go but no it wasn't really just another but it was good maybe more authentic than taco bell was. you guys oh, yeah. the movie demolition man yeah i was gonna say yeah. the taco bell in that that's what i grew up on right yeah. and then later on in life i bought it on dvd and they changed it to pizza hut and pizza it, hut Flip yeah. my world. They How did all yeah all restaurants in the future were supposed to be Taco Bell? Yeah, the labels even changed in the movie. That blew my mind. I was like, "What's what?" I was like, "Did I remember it incorrectly?" Like, no, I think I read about it. it. They did it twice. They did it twice for different marketing. Yeah, but they didn't say it was a Mandela effect. Huh. <laughs> hmm. I would, I would almost think that that would be like is I would be researching it like that, Simon. Was this a Mandela effect? You guys have heard of those, right? No. Okay, so no, Mandela effect that. is what where like um, so certain people remember something one way, but a whole nother group of people oh. remember it a different oh, way. Different. Yeah. Like oh. the dress was blue. Yeah. No. Yes. No. See, look, Comics on the Mind knows. Yeah, definitely. Because I watched it as it was Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah see. Yeah, it is. No, 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 but like they, what they, like, yeah, because of um, licensing or something, they had to change it legally. And in the movie, they actually t overdub all the parts where they say Taco Bell to Pizza Hut. Pizza and Hut. even on the labels and on the stuff on the at the restaurants, Taco Bell's being like <laughs> CG'd out for a Pizza Hut logo. Yeah, that's crazy. Because there's that bit, there's that line where he goes, you know, when he's been there, he's like, "Oh, I'd love to have a taco or something like that." And then they changed it to him saying, "Oh, I'd love a, sli a slice of pizza." Oh. <laughs> and it was like, "What does the audio sound weird now?" Yeah, it doesn't because it's not, you know. Yeah, it's, it's overdubbed. So sometimes they have good, you know, like voiceovers, and sometimes it's really freaking awful. <laughs> no, let's be honest. It's always awful. <laughs> okay, so you guys have watched Kong versus Godzilla or no? Have you? No, me either. Shorty's been dying to talk about it. That's why I was asking. You can just tell. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm excited to see it, though. I'll have to watch it. Cat, I let Cat watch it without me the other day while I was at work. He's like, are we going to watch it? I was like, I don't know if I have time, so you can just go ahead and watch it, because if not, you're going to... What did you tell me that day? Ask me if I can watch it yet. So, what so did just you tell go. me that day? I'm going to call you tonight, Shorty, but I'm, it pro uh, it's probably going to be after um, we watch maybe movie, because Captain's probably going to want to watch that movie with him. Mm -hmm. And instead, uh, I took my daughter shopping so she could go to her dad's the next day, and then I had to pack her the next day. And then today, I drove her all the way to Wyoming. Okay. Well, what that's like. You was momming, so yeah. Damn these mom responsibilities sometimes. <laughs> Adults and shit. For real though. So, 
But do you have any more questions for the panel, Miss Shorty? And you can think of? I think I've touched on most of mine. Uh. Nope. <laughs> okay, my last and final question is, have either of you ever been to America? Yes, but only as uh, like a kid. My parents like to go touring, like camping and stuff with the camper on the truck. So I've been to the Grand Canyon. I've seen Old Faithful, the geyser shoot off in Yellowstone National Park. Um, right. Yeah, all well, all when I was a kid, like probably before I was almost a teenager, maybe even. But yeah, so I did. We went through that kind of stuff down the coast, even uh, west coast, like that. Anyway, but yeah, I remember some of it. You know, of course. Yeah, it was pretty That's cool. Awesome. But uh, way back, the Grand Canyon thing, it was like me and my brother went off trail, and we were throwing rocks, like kind of in a bit, like having fun somewhere. And my parents didn't even know where we were. And I think nowadays. Uh, that's probably frowned upon, you know, like uh, to let your kids go out. Uh, nowadays, it is very frowned upon. It has definitely gotten crazy. When I was a kid, I could walk <laughs> to school and it not be a big deal. And nowadays, it's 50 50 shot when you walk, let your kid walk to school on A, is something going to happen to him? B, is somebody going to call me in? <laughs> or C, like, you know what I mean? Like, there are a lot of factors that play in it because some of them look at you like you are a bad parent for making your kid walk. And some of them are like, oh, you know, your kid can walk. Like it's it's a really messed up world that we are living yeah. in down in these parts these days. Yeah, it's different yeah. now. You can't just let your kids run around like we did in the 80s. So I even I was born in the early 90s. So like most of that up until like I ran around all the time. My mom, when I even when I was a preteen she'd drop me off at the mall be like all right i'll come pick you up in an hour or two you know yep. what i mean give me 20 Free bucks go do your thing and like i'd go walk the mall and do that thing roller skating and then there was a certain point where like none of that is accessible for the kids they have things in place where they can't go do that i mean all kinds of shit they put a lot of stipulations to where the kids can't have that type of freedom anymore and so now you as a parent makes it harder to give your child that type of freedom. i guess hey yeah. interesting yeah, I never thought of it that way. Yeah. That's really weird. They definitely uh, drive hard toward the blue screens. Uh, I will give you that. Don't let your kids watch the blue screen, but we're going to do everything in our power to try to trap them with that blue screen. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but that's a whole nother deep in topic one other day. <laughs> Shorty knows. A whole nother Geraldo. <laughs> um. What about you, Simon? What was the question? <laughs> Have you ever been to the States? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. But as soon as international travel opens, I will, I'm will. i going to try to get my ass there because I really want to travel. I've been wanting to do it for ages. And I was like, I always wanted to go to Japan. But then mm -hmm. I thought now because I kind of know people in the U.S. sort of now. Like, I feel like the U.S. should be the place I should go. So that is that is the plan. I am planning on going there as soon as I can. Cool. And maybe I'll stay. <laughs> Move on in. <laughs> Did Tori freeze? No. No. <laughs> I'm reading. So he put you'll end up missing. Kirk was, I was reading Kirk's comics. He said you'll end up missing in 411. Uh, it's definitely a lot more dangerous from a teacher who works in a tough community, AAK, the one I grew up. Oh, look. You and Kirk can save up and meet each other in Japan, too. Go, Japan. go <laughs> hang out there together. Good That's my like, 10 year old's dream is to go to Japan. And like the other day, she came up to me mm. and she like, Did you know? Japan's McDonald's serves different food than our McDonald's. <laughs> and I was like, out of all things to look up about Japan, you look, you up, look up McDonald's. <laughs> She's all, yes. All right, our cool. McDonald's is probably different than yours as well. You guys, we don't have Super Size. What, what, what do you guys, um, anymore, what's your, so what's your nickname? What's your nickname for McDonald's over there? Mickey D's. Mickey D's. See, we call it Maccas. <laughs> Oh. 
Cool. So next time you go to Mickey D's, try to use that in your sentence. Let's go to Macca's. Macca's. Yeah, I'll say it. I can do it. I'll start <laughs> Bring in it. Oh, man. I want to cycle around Japan. That's my bucket list goal. That's awesome, Kirk. Yeah. That is a way badass bucket I'll list I'll be goal. right next to you, Kirk, in an Uber. I just, I just <laughs> want to go to Japan and eat sushi. Like when Simon said go to Japan, I'm like, yeah, I want to go to Japan too. But yeah, food. I'm, that would be very exciting. I'd also, maybe I'd ride a scooter. I could rent a scooter and I'll chase comics there on the line <laughs> while he's biking. Right, I'm not cycling, but I'll scoot with you. <laughs> Get a moped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They probably got lots of scooters for rent there. <laughs> I uh, have always wanted to go to Ireland. Oh, yeah. England's what's, cool what's anywhere going? like that. Europe, anywhere in there. Yeehaw. What's the attraction of Ireland? Um, all of their different plants and like the different greenery, different hiking yeah. stuff you can do, yeah. you know, the different history, all that. Definitely. Like it looks like it'd be a very pretty place. And I love nature. Nice. Uh, growing up in Wyoming, there's not many trees or anything. It, you're on like high plateaus in certain parts of Wyoming. So there wasn't like a lot of beauty growing up, if that makes sense. So I decided that like after that, I never wanted to be in a state where it looked like that again. <laughs> and so I turned 18 and I moved and I never went back. Like I go back and I visit friends and family, but I was never moving back. That's nope. It's ugly. It's not, I mean, it's pretty in its own way, I guess, now that I'm older and I see things different, but I'd never move back. Plus the wind there, like, you know, it's always going like 80 miles an hour. It seems like your nose hairs instantly freeze in the winter. I'm not about that life. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's cold here, but it's definitely colder in Wyoming because there's nothing to help block that wind and shelter here. Oh, <laughs> mine wants to go to Scotland as well in Canada. Hi. Yeah, Canada has been on my Kirk list. Kirk needs to slow down. <laughs> right? <laughs> Africa, he's going everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, Africa would be cool too. Yep. That would Lots be cool. Places. He said, oh, if you're you going to do it, let's do it. Oh, that's cool. Way. That's Took way cool. Eight drinks. They took me for a ride while I was up there. <clears throat> me and my friends were like, we want to go to this market. And then halfway there, he goes, did you know the market's closed? <laughs> it's like the middle of the afternoon. It's like, how could it be closed? And then he took us to some suit shop. And my, fr my friend cracked it hard. He's like, dude, I am not going to go buy a suit right now. So, yeah, he told us the, market, the place we want to go to wasn't open and then took us to a suit place in hopes that we would buy a suit from these guys because they probably get money from that. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't happy with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That's the scary like, thing. No, about traveling, we're not thinking you know. where you're going. <laughs> not at all. That, that's a scary thing about travel as well. If I come to America, like you guys, are so different. Canada. I mean, I hear nothing but nice things about Canada, but America, I hear some bad things. You know what I'm saying? Um. I won't lie to you. There's definitely some shady people out there that do some shady shit. And like, um, always be wise and very observant is always the best things. But I mean, I would suggest that if you're going anywhere at the same time, you know, like, um, you've seen the movie Hostel, right? Like that's made a lot of Americans scared to go anywhere else. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but movies like that. So, I mean, it's kind of the same ordeal. Like you hear a lot of, like all of you guys seem great. I totally like be random to shorty i've never met her she's in a completely different state and i'm gonna go hang out with her face to face but you just gotta be wise and observant but you should be like that in your own area too because there's crazy things out there like trafficking and being kidnapped and all of that no matter where you're don't trust me, <laughs> don't I, guess trust me like, no. <laughs> I guess more just knowing where the places to stay away from is you know Are you supposed to know? Uh, yeah. that's true and hoping that the person that you are with has the best interest for you as well. Right. And just always research. Like if you're wanting to go visit a certain city, 
shit, Google is your best friend. Google it, view, you know, ratings and what's around crime rate. Just because there are some areas that you just. But what happens if I want to go to a comic shop that's in one of these bad areas? <laughs> Just gotta do it. Do it. Only did once, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Um, like honestly, I know that they make a lot of us Americans look really bad because they do show a lot of the violence and crazy shit that goes on. It, it, but, but to be real, a lot of us are fucking stupid. A lot of it is fucking stupid, or it's over fucking stupid, or it's over highlighted, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, and not mm -hmm. all of like the other shit that counteracts goes with that. Yes, she did just say strap up and go, Kirk. She sure the fuck did, because that's what the fuck we do. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we but, uh, also with that, like, there is some crazy shit going on in our government right now. So, like, all the violence that you're seeing right now. Don't believe all of it, number one, and don't believe that the people here are always going to be out to get you because there's some just crazy. Right now, just don't come to America if our gates open. Don't come within like the next four years, is what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Come to America, but wait a few years because <laughs> there's some crazy shit going down and they can't figure their shit out. No, <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. leave America for myself. <laughs> There's times I just want to fucking pack my bag and grab a passport and say deuces, bitches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be real honest. So, like, come to visit, but wait a little bit. But I promise when you come, it will be a great time. There's lots See, of like, you. Like Geek said, you know, America's so big that there's a lot of crazy shit, but there's also a lot of cool shit. You just got to, you got to, because, I mean, every city... No, regardless of what you hear, every city has its pros and cons. Um, so the best thing to do is Google that city, find out what's the safest area, what's what's popping in that neighborhood, and you know, just do your research on the town. You know, you'll you'll you're smart, you'll figure it out. But yeah, um, all else fails. You know, this community is so big. I'm sure you can always find somebody. Regardless of where you're going, you can reach out to somebody in the community that they might not live in that specific city you're going to, but they may live in that state and they may know that area enough to say, OK, look, them railroad tracks don't go to the left. You know what I'm saying? Like they may be able to help you out. <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> That is great. But yeah, no, uh, definitely, you know, like we always want to go see other countries and different things. Um, I really think that it is crazy that um, it is much of a pain in the ass for to travel back and forth between Canada and America as it was there for a while. And it is like that is just nuts to me. I think it's still <laughs> ridiculous. My mom. Yeah, goes like to we are right back in there. It should not be this hard. Yeah, well, my mom goes to Mexico for the winter. She's one of those snowbird types, and so she usually comes back in April for spring, which is happening now, right? But mm -hmm. she's stuck there because she can't just like fly right back up and and come in right now. She has to wait at least another month, I think. And then you have to have like you have to have testing, and you have to stay in a government approved hotel for a few days, you know. And like, there's a lot of restrictions right now for re-entering the country from other places, so. Yeah, it sucks to travel right now, I think. Anyway. Crazy. So with that being said, uh, when your mom comes back, is she going to probably stay this time or not travel? Next I don't know. She next goes every time. year. She hates snow. I don't think a little bit of whatever is going to no. know. And I'm, she's not worried about being stuck there for another month. Ooh, I'm stuck in Mexico on the beach. Ooh, uh, She goes for like five months out of the year. So what's six, hey? That's yeah. fabulous. Uh, I'm really frustrated because, um, you know, Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, when they hold that up there, I go up there and work. Well, a lot of their Canadian customers are having a hard time coming this year or wanting there to purchase go. their tickets because, yeah. you know, like last year when I went up there and worked, a lot of their 20 plus uh, 
campers weren't coming from Canada because of it. the huge kind of come the huge shutdown. I was actually making a joke with one of them that they should have just built an underground tunnel. Yeah, <laughs> really yeah, if I we build one there, I'll let you know where it's at. Ontario is shutting stuff down, I think, again. and Not where I'm at yet, but anyway. Crap. Damn. I'm not talking about it. It's not that exciting. How long is it going to go on for? Forever. Right. Right. <laughs> Do we, I mean, we don't even, what, what is, what is normal? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, sorry. My friend made me a sign to hang up in my uh, room or whatever. Cause he bought one of those like wood making machines that does all the cool cutouts or burnouts or whatever. And yeah. he's all, you never text me today to come pick up your sign. Oh, yeah, I didn't pass through where you're at. I'm so sorry. And I'm a bad person to even text you and tell you I wasn't passing through because I suck at life. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so, and uh, where I have to go through to take my daughter, I go through two and a half hours and no service of any sort. So, like, if anybody tried to call me today or anything, they weren't able to get through to me. And, of course, I don't set up voicemail so they couldn't even leave a message. <laughs> That's what an adult does, is not set up their voice <laughs> Oh, let's see. What did Geeks and Geeks said? Oh, man. Oh, oh shit. Oh, well, yeah, depending you on have plans. Morning, you'll have to hit up Simon and say yeah. hello, Geeks and Drinks. Yeah. We'll go drink and geek out. <laughs> right. It'll be a great time. Really so though, the front. Have, do you have like a local LCS, Simon? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of shops around here, but like none of them are near me. So I go, the shop I go to is probably about a 40 minute drive. Um, but we've got quite a few shops down here, actually. I just became quite good friends with um, Mark at my shop. So he's the guy, he's in a lot of my videos. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I guess because we came, became such good friends, figured I may as well stick with you, mate. <laughs> Okay. I, I still go other shops as well and check them out, but yeah, there's, there's plenty of variety here. Okay, what about you, Mayor? Well, there's lots of comic book shops in, in Edmonton, the capital city here, and in Calgary, the next biggest city further south. Yeah, but I don't really frequent comic book stores. I don't really have... Anyway. Are you guys allowed to dig there? Um, anywhere, you know, like here we have certain digging restrictions and whatnot. Um, when I'm oh, out there, wow. we're hunting. We're not supposed to dig at all, right? I mean, like, I, I think some people told me, like, yeah, in the bigger cities, they have to get a permit to be digging. You mean like metal detecting and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but no, here I don't know. I'm in a small town. I just go do whatever. Try not to, try not to make a mess. That's Mostly most on my like, private property. Yeah, well, well, even where like I go look for the big or for like Fairburns out in the big uh, like agate beds and stuff, you can't dig. If they're not on the surface, you can't dig. So, like, um, sometimes mm -hmm. one of the signs that you're kind of close to one is, like, a whole bunch of smoky quartz and uh, cl clear crystal quartz. And, like, if you dig under there, sometimes you'll find your fair burn, but you're not allowed – you're not supposed to dig. Now, um, yeah. there's X amount, like, you can dig up to so amount of inches, but after that, you're not, like, mm. supposed to, I guess, now – no, I just, what you're I, supposed to do and what you're really good at covering up are two completely different things. Um, you're not supposed to collect any fossils or anything like that either, of course. Uh, I do luck oh, yeah, out because I've been no. with the reservation that's by us. So I can take any artifacts and things off of there legally because it's just that's the way that works. But nobody else can. They would get it to federal fine at that point if they get caught and not just a state fine. different interesting yeah. yeah uh when i was first uh, getting into rocks and rock counting i was like oh you know i don't know if uh what all the rules are and someone's all because i came out with a shovel and someone's all you cannot dig like <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> if pull up and you got a shovel you were getting fined and i was like i didn't know that was a thing i'm so sorry <laughs> so i definitely had to look up different laws yeah, it, yeah, I think if I was in like a in a 
what would they call it, like a national park or a provincial park, whatever state park. Yeah, you're, I wouldn't be digging. I don't think there, but anywhere that's like public around here in town or the countryside, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any rules about it like that. Just as long as you're not on private property getting shot at, you know, that's a good idea. Hey, Hemp, GG. We'll definitely check out your channel for sure. We both have IGs. Uh, that's the easiest way to get a hold of me or Shorty if you want to join the show. Uh, my Instagram is smileytory1327. Um, Shorty's a short box Padawan. Right? Still? You haven't changed it recently? I know yeah. you're going to be changing it. I just don't know when. That's right. Oh, I'll eventually be getting a real logo eventually, too. It won't just be my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think. Uh, so, yeah. Um, do you guys have any questions for me or Shorty? I guess would be. We've asked you guys plenty. I know you watch the show. So any. Mm. I've got all the questions in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I just don't know. If I could even muster up the question right now. <laughs> yeah. Piece it together slowly. <laughs> Just because, like I said, how you guys have it so differently. Like you guys, when you go buy your pot or something, you've always asking what kind it is, what sort of smoke, and and you guys will talk about like flavors and stuff like that. All that stuff. I need to. I need to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The first time I ever went to a dispensary, like, legit, I was so overwhelmed. Like, it was a sensory overload from yes. my sight to my sense of smell to, like, my mouth watering with oh, excitement. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. full sensory overload. And the woman, you could tell, she could tell it was my first time ever being in a dispensary because she's like, oh, honey. So what have you smoked? Let's start there. <laughs> I just I just smoke bud. Like Yeah, I was like, I just smoke bud. Like sometimes it's they say flavor, sometimes they don't. I really don't know much about it. And she's all, okay, do you prefer to smoke to go to sleep or to relax? Or do you yeah. prefer, prefer something where you can smoke mm -hmm. and not get all lazy? And I was like, Oh, well, I definitely prefer to like smoke and not get lazy. She's like, oh, so you like sativas. Let's just go from there. And then, yeah, it was just, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I would imagine, like, you know, those annoying perfume, I don't know if you have them, but at the stores, the annoying perfume ladies that have all the different scents that like just want you to smell them all and they have this, this, and this. Yeah. It's kind of like almost what your butt is like at first because there's so many different scents that you're smelling. And you're like, oh my God, like, am I smelling the same scent repeatedly? I'm not even sure right now. Right. Oh my God. I, I like the 12th or 13th one. You're already like, all right, I'm nose blind. Can you give me just a minute? That's why I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam as well. Cause you know how people tell you about the cafes and they're like, there's like a menu and you open it up and I'm like, what do you mean? Yes. Menu? What's in that menu? Yes. <laughs> I need these things in my life. Yeah. Cause you know, I remember it was just like swag or you had your chronic. That's what it was called. Your kind bud. It was kind bug. It was really just your chronic. So you had your chronic or your swag and your swag had seeds and stems and like once in a while it was good and get you really high. And sometimes it was all right. That's when it was more leaning. Towards it. Uh, it was called swag. Like, I guess that's probably what we call bush maybe where it's like just not that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not that good a weed, not high THC content, got seeds and stems in it. You got to clean it before you smoke it, unless you're going to buffalo load it in the yep. Bob Morley sense. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but, uh, to answer your question, no, we do not grow our own. Unfortunately. Yeah. I wish. Once it becomes more recreational legal, then I'm sure... Down here in the south, we will have them growing in with the tomato plants. So. My biggest issue with growing right now is that I just don't have the time right. to give That's another big factor. Have the love that they need. Um, I'm a firm believer and you have to talk to your plants, love on your plants, all of that. You know, you got to love and nurture them the same you would a child. And I don't have that kind of time that I need to devote into growing. However, yeah. I do eventually want to open up. Kind of like a hangout shop when it becomes more 
leisurable where you can come and read comics and hang out and like play games, you know, like your D and D or whatever, and just smoke and chillax. But you also have like your stock there that you can purchase right there to smoke. And you also have your like different few like marijuana infused foods. That's, that's eventually my goal. <laughs> if you're allowed to grow in Alberta and Canada, you can have like, I think four plants for personal going at a time so in canada do you need like a license and stuff as well no because recreational is out now so you just got to be of age and then and, uh, yeah and then but it, also have your tent most people just use a tent it's almost like an ice fishing tent throw their lights inside have your four plants in there yeah sweet nice. or you just buy it at the store now there's a government online store here too so buy it right Ooh. from the confidential uh website Woo. all right you uh, heard hemp look hemp hemp when gg said well anyone that needs any help on growing hit him up on instagram do it there you go hey hey expert yeah no definitely for sure always need a good grower they're important Agriculturists are important in the world <laughs> of all sorts. So, found them. If you could get high with any famous person or superhero, who would it be? Well, that's a good one. Famous person is pretty easy. I'd pick Tommy Chong. I'm just going to jump right in there. Boom. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And now I'll just go with like the night Joe Rogan or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's hey up, Tricky? How are you guys? Just in time for the question. Yeah, you could get high is... with any superhero or celebrity, who would it be? Mm. Any superhero or celebrity? Oh hmm. I laugh too way too much I like I like laugh way too much when I'm high, so Comics on the Mind says Jeff Carey or Jim Carey and Geeks and Drinks Geeks and Drinks says Dave Chappelle. Chappelle's a good one. I, um, I just want to smoke with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that is my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> and then superhero uh, Comics on the Mind superhero would be Swamp Thing. I want to smoke with Poison Ivy because I would want to have her grow me pop because I bet she could grow me the best shit <laughs> ever. Oh, shit, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> That's been, uh, like, definitely. Snoop Dogg and uh, Poison Ivy, those are my two. <laughs> uh, you guys know who Steve Odekirk is? Look, he ain't said the same thing. <laughs> That's awesome. What did you say, Tricky? I said, you know who do Steve Odekirk is? No. He did like uh, he did these movies called like Bat Thumb, Franken Thumb, uh, Thumb Tannic. He did uh, Kung Pao Under the Fist. He's a pretty he's like he's a pretty funny guy, or maybe just uh, like martial arts guy, like Jet Li. Like he to likes to sneak a thumb in every now and then, is what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, if, if it was a uh, if it was like somebody famous. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> uh, just and drink. Saying. Oh, comic says he's seen some of them tricky. Oh yeah, really good. I'm about to jump in the chair. Oh, so. Yeah, I bet Kirk has seen some weird shit too. Right? <laughs> yeah, watch uh, out. Look at look at my back up. Bam. And Tori is probably like the only person that's going to understand who the fuck that is. But there you go. He's missing it here. We're not going to judge him. Okay. He's missing it here. Good job, <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. I uh, am not a fan of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> well, he's Bless been through a lot. Bless his heart. He looks like he's been through a lot. Is he uh, Maddie's or Sarah's? Maddie. Maddie's. I mean, my one niece still has her uh, 
stuffed rabbit that I got her that's all tie-dye or whatever when she was like three and she's now 20. Sits on her shelf. So I asked, is it Sarah's or is it Maddie's? You never surprised. I actually have a jewelry box my brother got me for Christmas when I was nine. Still. I have my Curious George, my stuffed Curious George that I got on my first birthday. That is crazy. Yeah, considering how fucking old I am because I'm pretty sure I'm the yeah, oldest. You didn't even old, Shorty. Shut up. <laughs> Haven't you heard the science nowadays? With all the science we have, the new middle age is 65 to 70. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe Mayor may be older. I said I just turned 40 this year, so. He did say that. 40. They were in the 40 club. <laughs> 40. Oh, yeah, and who Lady F was talking about it. Mm -hmm. And so was Dustin. You guys are all 40 around the same it's, time. So, Simon, your birthday is coming up. What day is it? Uh, it was a few days ago. It was March 31st. Yeah, 31st? I said a while ago I had missed his birthday. Because I did. Yeah, 31st of March. So it was like three days ago. But my age stays a secret. Stop <laughs> saying. Well, you don't look a day over 22. I mean, That's really. good. Because I'm very, <laughs> very close to Maya's age. <laughs> <laughs> very, very close. But there that's a little. Yeah, that's easy. What's up, Sam? Thanks for joining. I embrace my age. You know, it's okay because I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of it. I just became a grandma. Shorty, will you uh, drop our IG links again in the chat for him? He, so we don't have Sam again. I know you got the power. You and Mayor are on it with the moderating. I got my phone. I can do it. Can't Instagram found me. Oh, because I got it. Curse on that shit. Usually. Did you ever throw that uh that cartoon animation uh show yet, Tori? Uh, no, I've not. I've been waiting for you to get old to be tricked eight because that was your one right. request was hey, don't do the animation one until I can do it with you. But we could do that yeah. next weekend so that way Simon could join us. He'd probably have fun with that one. What Best animation when you're high. Okay. That's going to be our next topic. I, I, uh, I like animation a lot. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily smoke as much as you pros, but... Uh, I don't. But I have <laughs> you don't this is, this is <laughs> Wow. Uh, I, I, I'm not necessarily a pro, but I do smoke a lot. Well, you're pros oh. compared to me. Let's say that. Sorry. Right. Yeah. We'll wear it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not ashamed at all. Um, I mean, actually, I have, I bring Kurt on. Bring Kurt on. Well, t send him the link. I put you the Instagram the link. links in the chat there. I gotta get a drink. One second. Okay. Okay, Kurt, are you talking about you want to be a guest on a future show or you want the link right now? Because you making me bossy and shit in here tonight. Both is always an option. So, Simon, what are your big plans for this weekend? This weekend, um, I'm doing a joint birthday stream tomorrow with um, Rena and Kate. Um, cool. Life, uh, Sharon, life with two YouTubers, kids. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think. Cade's birthday was like a week ago, and Rena's is in a couple of days. Yeah. So just yep. gonna mess around, do a few things there. Um, I got an AOK -okay from Remy Q uh, that showed up yesterday, so I'm gonna probably pump that video out tonight. And he got me some good stuff. You'll, you'd like some of those covers, I guarantee it. <laughs> um, but yeah, because I've got two weeks off work after this week as well, so um, I'm literally up for streams and things like that because I don't nice, want to spend. Man. Yeah, I'm definitely up for uh, organizing a battle with you as well, Tori. Yes, I'm excited. So right now I'm mostly open like Saturday, Sundays. So you figure it out on those days unless you want to do it later in the evening, my time. So you'll have to construct I that. Like what time was it when you started this today? Uh, it's 1030 p.m. Okay, would you do like 830 p.m. or something? I could do 830 p.m. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. We'll figure it out. 
Um, definitely, yeah, I'm way excited to do that one. That'll be a good one. That's why I can't show you all my good covers, but that new one that I just got in, you know, we're all smoking. I'm a hippie, so I had to show you that Nathan's dirty. I'm going to show it again because that's my new favorite. This was my, my favorite common five of the year so far. Yes. Yeah. I'm definitely have been hiding uh, some of the books I've been buying just to save for an occasion like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. I was going to do that one with you, and then I'm on the hunt, and you can only use books that you've gotten in the past two weeks. So I've been trying not to show my buys, which I lost brutally last weekend. Yeah, I watched but it. I watched it. The only reason I lost is because he had to buy like $10,000 worth of books. So yeah, but all, the, all, all those comic shows, if you pull out an old book, everyone will always vote for that old book over a modern book. Always. So I'm stuffed. <laughs> well, and even when I do the, like, I did an older book, but I mean, really, I can't beat the first appearance of fucking Wolverine. There's Kurt, no way. Send me a message is, on IG, man. But what is the idea? On Because I've watched The Hunt a few times, but is the idea just to pull a book that's awesome? Is it just yes. about the book? It's just about the book itself? Yeah. So it is about the book itself. So they have like certain ones where it has to be like older books, golden age, you know, like yeah. banger type yeah, they, books. They definitely be like golden books the other night. First appearance, like big boy type books. And then it just depends on which one you're doing type. Um, if you're doing a tag team match, you can use anything in your collection. So that's where I get away with like some of the modern books and stuff is that one. Um but it's harder for me because I don't own a lot of Golden Age or Silver Age mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, it's like, if I went on that thing, I'd have to like blow my wad on just one episode and be like, oh, "This is all my best shit," <laughs> and then that's it. I'm done because I don't have that much good stuff. It's I think of it as I have a lot of great stuff. They're just too picky. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, like, you could pull out a modern cover that's a really nice art piece, right? And then someone pulls pulls out some vintage book it's a key and even though the art you can't even compare it they'll vote that old book because of the nostalgia or you know what that book right, means to right. them, rather than yeah, judging it on that actual it's really more about like big keys and big books yeah yeah but it's the, it's, it's, like on comic stories that's why I, I love it but like i feel like they don't utilize the selling part of it enough in the chat because people are always just voting oh he pulled out the first hulk or whatever like that's better than this i don't know Pirillo cover and stuff like yeah. that. See, yeah. I, uh, I, that's why I kind of like the hunt is because you do have more leeway to sell your books. So I can talk a lot of shit to you and degrade your book as I'm upselling mine the best I can. As to where common gories, you can do it, but it's not always like it's supposed to be somewhat of a kid friendly show. You know what I mean? So, like, mate, it wasn't kid friendly yesterday. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. that it was like an adult stream but you can even ask shorty like Comigories typically is not adult themed like that yeah yeah no. it's more kid driven um so like you know when i threw up the first appearance of gaggy on the hunt my how i started that line simon was way before he ever made harley quinn gag he had his own sidekick called gaggy and freaking like everybody was like turned beat red. It was hilarious. I laughed really hard. I thought it was hilarious. But I mean, it's all just a matter of how you sell your book on the hunt. And you got to be real good at talking shit because it's like supposed to be wrestling. And, you know, I don't know if you've ever watched wrestling yeah. shows, but it's definitely like they run their mouths a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot of shit talking. Mm hmm. Are you going to shit talk if we do a sexy cover battle? I don't know. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> oh, I watched you instead i'll be like "Ooh, look at her you know you want to tap this over that maybe you want both at the same time who knows <laughs> unless you tell me we have to be pg i can try really really hard sometimes i flirt with the 13 but i don't know <laughs> it's hard for me to be pg <laughs> um so speaking of sharon actually my daughter did a stream with rena and Cade last weekend uh easter craft show Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, think. I did, like, a little craft off. She had been dying to be on YouTube, and I was like, all right, well, I can try to set something up. So Sharon, bless her heart, was like, yeah, I'll talk to Rita about it. And they did a show with my 10-year-old doing a craft off. It was awesome. That's pretty cool. Let me check that out. Yeah. Yeah, those guys have fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, 
Tricky, do you have any questions for our guest? No, I. Uh, it's nice to meet you guys, Tricky Trapster. I, uh, <laughs> I've I've watched the show a few times, but I don't. I, I would not know what to ask really. You know, I don't, just pop it. I'll in. forget by the time it finishes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I uh, I spoke occasionally. It's very like very occasional. I laughed my ass off. I ate way too much shit, and uh, I definitely you know, yeah, right, yeah. I uh, I don't know. I, I'm more of a drinker okay. myself. What's up? <laughs> What's up, y'all? I definitely don't. Hate What's up, Mayor? <laughs> How you doing? Awesome. Not now nice. everyone's up here. I know, right? <laughs> Perfect. Cheers. All right. How's That's your uh, you on spring break now, Kirk? You said what? Are you on your spring break now, Kirk? Officially, I am. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I got to work next week. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna work. Like I, I do Uber Eats on my uh, my bike, so I'll be making making some extra money that week. But yeah, for the most part, I ain't gotta teach kids, so yeah, <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll be I'll be working a little bit, but then relax, relaxing mainly. Well, that's the plus. Yeah, I need to get some organizing done. I have hella books that I need to put away into uh, to bo long box. Well, short boxes. I'm I'm starting to buy short boxes. Long boxes starting to get a little a little too heavy for me. Right. I need to uh, I need to need to get them short boxes. Any, uh, long, uh, is, is a long box double a short box? I've, I've never actually seen one in real life. <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say, it's, I'd say it's double the size. That's a long box. Yeah. Let's see. So they Stay hold 30? 300 to 350 comments, isn't it? In a long box? Man, wow. how yeah, dribble. Dribble. Yeah. Picking that up with all so much weight in the middle. That's... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, it's too much. Because the more I don't plan on moving anytime soon, but it was definitely like that was the hardest thing moving was those. <laughs> Not my bed, that. <laughs> do you uh, stack your boxes? Because I'm literally like I do. I have uh, I have them like on two sides. So like this side over here is like I have all them stacked up, all my old books, and over here is like my modern books. In my indies. You have your boxes stacked up or just your books stacked up? No, my boxes. Yeah, so because like I never used to want to stack them because I would like I know. I was like, is this safe? But how many high would you say is it? I, I mean, I've done more than right now, there's just it's just it's just two. Um and three on that side. But I've done more. I've done like four. I've seen Gray Man, he's got them like stacked to the roof. <laughs> like a <Really>? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, um, I've done it. I've done it that far. Like I, I remember my old apartment. Um, just for the hell of it, I stacked them up in front of my roommate's door. He was just like, "What the hell?" <laughs> he opened up his door. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, 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 I don't stack them that high. I try to keep them like level because I know like, I'm in California, so you never know when an earthquake will come. Right. Um, so. Shake, shake, I, shake. I, do shake short boxes and I usually <laughs> I do short boxes. I can't do long boxes. Um, and I usually only go three high. Yeah. Do you ever buy any of the fancy short boxes, like the ones with Are the classic ones? ones? No. Nah. I want to get a um. Like I have a homie that uses um those metal filing cabinets. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. There. Did you but see I, um, on, on Comic Gories uh, yesterday, like Bubs showed where he keeps his books because they did like a random pool round. And it's really? Like, I mean, that hard. He's got like a crazy massive metal filing thing. It's really, yeah, it looks mm -hmm. good. No, I've seen a couple people in the community have uh, used those. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I have no space in my house anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, I know I a lot of people that use the um, BCW plastic. Um, yeah, boxes, and I'm actually considering switching to those myself. Um, Me too. You know, it's just I've heard a lot of pros about them. I know several people that use them, and it's just the thing. The thing is, is 
yeah, they're a little bit more expensive per one versus your cardboard box, but they're going to last three times as freaking long because yeah, even with, even if you don't stack it and you're one that maybe pulls your boxes <laughs> in and out every once in a while and not taking the lid on and off, that cardboard just wears out really quick. <laughs> Yeah, I ripped mine. I ripped one of mine. I have to replace one of my lawn boxes already because it's, yeah, you know. I mean, it's just the cardboard just will wear out, especially if you live in any any type of climate that's moist or it, it's gonna yeah. that cardboard is just gonna deteriorate after a little while and get so flimsy. So you're in a couple of years, you're still gonna have to replace your boxes. So why not just spend a little bit more on that initial because I'm learning that the hard way because I've always bought bulk, but I've bought the um, cardboard short boxes, like just like what Kurt had right there. And I'm yeah. really considering that switch over right now. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, like you said, in the long run, it's just going to be like financially, it's just going to help out a lot more. I can't just keep buying like, like short boxes all the time. Right. Like, that's just. Yeah, I don't you know. want to buy any. I don't want to buy any. <laughs> I'm to buy I, got, I'm to buy I got this one like in a collection that I bought. It's like an X Men. Oh, that's oh, really yeah. I never drop the money. You know what I mean? Have you? Because you're an artist. Do you, have you ever like painted up a painted up a short box? When that's I what young, I want to do. I would. My, my home home, but is I've me. not done it. I've seen people do it. I know someone who does it. You should totally do that, Tricky. I'm good at it, bro. Yeah, my home. I got a drink. There you guys go. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you just you just decorate. Yeah, this is a good idea. Yeah, he just yeah. he. Uh, my buddy had like a. Um, he just basically took one of those uh, preview books and just cut it. Uh, cut all the books, the pages out of the preview that's books. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you like Maj Paj them. Yeah. I, I, I want to draw on mine because I, I think that would be really cool. To I recently started. Yeah, but yes, totally tricky. tricky. I think you should totally take and um, decorate a short box. Yeah, because you, you, you got a six styles, Tricky. I yeah, seen some sure. Dude, seriously. <laughs> You gotta yeah. do that like on, for top of, on top of like commissions and stuff. It's just like, I don't know, you know, I hardly want to draw the way it is now, but. Uh, yeah, just, don't take just, don't take the fun out of what you love to do. Don't take the yeah. fun out of your passion. Yeah. Some, well, though, there's stints where I just want to draw all the time, and then there's stints I just I don't want to touch anything. No, I'm the, I'm the same. Yeah, I got yeah, four yeah. sketchbooks, and I I don't I have, I don't have a lot in them because it it just depends on how I feel. If I don't feel like drawing, I ain't gonna draw. Yeah. I doodle, or I color. I have a lot of adult coloring books. I'm just going to throw this out there. I color, but it's like in my little pony and shit with my eight-year-old. Oh, no. See, I have my own Lisa Frank and stuff to color my kids with, too. And I have my own box of crayons because I can't share because I'm eight. Oh. But uh, <laughs> uh, definitely, no, I have like the adult ones. So like the really intricate ones or whatever. But uh -huh. you can't use fine tip Sharpies in them because they're dumbasses. <laughs> Picture on both sides yeah. and it bleeds through, and you yeah. can't have that, and it drives me nuts. So, I actually make a lot of copies of my coloring pages. I, wasn't to say. I just have the most whenever I guess. Copy it. You have a really cool, uh, like villains one that's Disney villains, and then inside them, we'll have like I don't know, intricate little designs. It's crazy, crazy. Oh yeah, anything we're doing with like abstract uh, coloring or just abstract art in general is awesome on your stone. <laughs> Plus, yeah, no, we have, do a lot of crafts in the house. We have a whole like a lot of random craft shit mm -hmm. everywhere. Hot glue gun. Yeah, no, I, I grew up. Like, my mom ran a daycare, so I grew up in a house like that. My mom was always making us do arts and crafts, and she was an artist. She did like fashion and. She loved to paint, and she just she was just a jack of all trades. Um, so she passed a lot of that on to us. Cause my brother does like comics, and he does like puppetry and anything that like art. So he, you know, he's he's that's all him. <laughs> that's way cool. Like a, yeah. a fabric, like someone like someone taking 
like a nice fabric and stapling it to a, long, a short box would be really cool. Like you could probably do some really cool stuff with that. Yeah. And it would just give the whole thing a different feel, like when you picked it up. No, I agree. It would be less likely to <laughs> slick out of your hands, depending on the fabric, too. Oh, you would definitely have better grip than what you do on some mm. of them, because I've definitely some of the, seen some of those short box disasters where they go to pick them up and don't clip it right because they're smooth on the side. You know what I mean? Cardboard, and then drop that entire short box everywhere. And now your cardboard's broken. You got to worry about bit books. Like, I found I something that I was totally nerding out with. Um, Surprise! Shorty's a nerd. <laughs> right? No. Um, but it was this, that engraving. Oh, like nice. Scratch art. Oh, yeah. I remember my, my sister used to do that when I was when I see like, it. I'll show you the one um, because, like, Burns got me hooked on that shit when he was here. And, like, dude, let me show you this one I've been working on. I was an old guy before. I used to love, you remember those scholastic books you could order, like the little scholastic uh, manuals that you can order books from? Oh, she drop out? No. Yeah. Oh, wait. She's back. Okay. I didn't go nowhere. I was, back. I was just teasing. <laughs> 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 It's not finished. That is clean. Whoa. That is way off. Really? Anything that's still blue. Oh, Sonny, what's up? If it's still blue, then I haven't done it. Which the carousel? I haven't started the carousel yet. But that 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 is that shit is sick. <laughs> yeah. It's freaking. It is so relaxing. Like, oh. Uh, it's so I wonder, I wonder what, because you know, I had light bright when I was a kid. I wonder what that would right. be like. Light bright, as, you know, as an adult now, smoke like as a stoner, like I would. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My daughter, my eight-year-old had a light bright. I, I I loved those when I was a kid. Because even though I didn't grow up in like the eighties, like I still had like stuff from the eighties passed down to me. Oh, totally. What's up, Fanny? She did the first uh, sexy lady battle off with Simon on his channel. No, I gotta watch that. <laughs> yeah. That it was is special, awesome. apparently. <laughs> it was probably like a lot of chi and <laughs> the two. How long did you have to practice covering the nips, Simon? What did you say? <laughs> 20 What's minutes that? you spent? Practicing in the camera to cover the Jimmy. No, Johnson. no. <laughs> that is now funny. Is all I wasn't sticky noting nothing, so I practiced. It was hilarious. No way. <laughs> oh yeah, I've never seen perfect placement of hands quite like I did that day. So I've been at it on point. <laughs> on point. That's where my fingers were born to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's whole Censorship thing. at finest. I'll just do it with my hands. <laughs> oh. What about you, Mayor? Do you do any art at all? Uh, I don't know. Not really. I, I maybe drew a little bit when I was a kid, but it was maybe mediocre at best. So, not really. Yeah, I'm not the I'm not the best artist, but I still like. I mean, it's good. It's just a good way to kind of like relieve stress, you know. I uh. I, I was more of a band geek. I played saxophone and I played guitar. Do you oh, still play? No, I haven't played for a while. I get too busy and then you stop playing and then you really don't. That's like me. I used to play alto saxophone. I played all in those. Oh, yeah, that's what I played. Yeah, I played, in, I played in a jazz band uh, yeah, for a while. Um, but I just, uh, you know, at the, when I went to college, I just, I just stopped playing for it. For Same so thing long. when I hit university, <laughs> I'm too busy for it. Yeah. It was hard to keep up after high school band. Yeah. My, well, my roommate is like encouraged me to go like pick up one. I, I mean, we have a lot of flea markets out here, and I always, I always see one. I'm like, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> get it and start playing again. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. For real. I, I, I never. I hated reading music. And my jazz teacher, she would always get so mad because all I would have to do was just listen. And then just like pretend like I was like reading the music, and she's like, "Read it." I was like, 
I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I just I know what that. I just know where the fingering is, and yeah. I know what, what it sounds like, and I can do it. And she would. She's like, you can freestyle. Really I, I can freestyle really good, but it's just like I couldn't. I just couldn't read music. Uh, I still want to go back and like like take like a music theory class, and so I can. I, and then like I want to pick up the piano. If you learn the piano, like you can pretty much learn most chords. <laughs> Piano would be really cool. Yeah. Take the time anyway. I took no, piano no. for like nine months when I was a kid, and then I don't remember if I decided that basketball was more important or what exactly <laughs> happened. But I was like, I don't, know, but I don't want to take piano anymore, mom. And she's like, okay. And then I did the All right, piano like, is for sissies, mom. <clears throat> no, it was. Uh, I didn't have the patience to deal with, like, to sit there and learn. I didn't have the self-discipline and the patience, and basketball doesn't take much self-discipline. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? After, like, <laughs> yeah. your physical and all that, like, your physique, that does take it, but everything else, it doesn't take the break, like, all of that. So I was just like, no, I don't want to do it. Oh, one, one of my old drawings. I used, to, I used to be, like, super into anime before. I, I, started, like, I love anime, man. Yeah. So, I like, know nothing of anime. Oh no, I, I I I used to read all the show and jump comics like you got a Dragon uh, Ball magazine. Magazine. You got a Dragon Ball shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up yeah. watching Dragon Ball Z. There was a there was a channel where um because we didn't have like uh cable, but there was like this one Spanish channel that would show like Japanese anime, and we would always go there and watch like Dragon Ball Z and, and we couldn't understand it, but we were still just. <laughs> yeah. We said I didn't think that was like, I didn't think I'm kicking ass. I was going to ask you actually, if you're an anime fan, do you prefer to watch it subtitled or dubbed? Yeah, subtitled is way better subtitled. for me. Um, it's so weird. All, all the real anime people are like, no, nah, man, you got to watch it subtitled. I'm like, man. Well, I, I, certain, certain shows, I can stomach. I can stomach. Like, like when it came out in English, it was perfect. Like, the dubbing was done really well. Naruto, hell no. Nah. I couldn't do it. Like, just, I just think, I, no, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Like the, the, the English out, dubs out. make them a bit more silly, I think, and a bit, yeah. because they're very over the top, the voices in English. But when you watch it in Japanese, the tones are much more serious. So what I, I agree. English dub fun anime, you watch the Japanese version, you're like, why are they so serious? <laughs> oh, darker. Yeah, no. Yeah, a lot of I, and like I, I heard from a lot of people that watched Naruto like dub and then went back and watched it like subtitled. Because it is it's a, it's a different experience. Even watching I learned about that watching Dragon Ball Z because I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z in English. And I watched it like sub and I was like, this is different. Yeah. I want I want super like uh, uh dub. I mean uh uh, sub with my brother and, and his son. I like it dubs because like I like to be able to like look away if I have to. I get still. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look away from I'm gonna get a Vegeta. That, see, that is. Yeah. If I ever got a tattoo, I, I I told people I would get one on my back, and it would be Vegeta. He's like. And Goku fighting. That it's is kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to see. Let me get the. Line. I don't have any tattoos either, Kurt. Nice. Yeah, I, I I just I'm afraid of needles. I can't I can't do it. I always yeah, sleep right. before I go to the doctor and get blood drawn or a shot. Too brave. Uh, no, I see the suit. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah. That's okay. clean. No, I I I, I guess. But the nap is like up here, like like kind of got his fist, like he just. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the Vegeta's that that's that was the one of the best like sagas. Yeah. That one in um yeah. in the Cell saga. Look at All Might. I don't know if you guys are into my hero. Yeah, my hero is awesome. That's the only yeah. anime I like. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. My, one of my students, he's he's so funny. He's um he's a fourth grader now and he's already starting to like design like uh my academia like cosplay. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? That's that's oh, what my daughter crazy. loves in Hero Academia. Yeah. She's all about that, that. fairy my, tale. Oh, fairy tale is not a good one yet. My nephew actually got me into fairy tale. I remember when the manga came out. I just I didn't have time to read it. Uh, but my my nephew got me into the anime. It's pretty. Oh, Outlaw Star was good. Now we're going into the old school like Trigun. Trigun was my show. I don't know if anybody y'all uh, watched um, Adult Swim growing up. Like when it I first. Did. 
So I watched like Trigun, Outlaw Star. Oh yeah, and uh, Cowboy Bebop, uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, it was yeah. I I went to a couple because I've never been to a comic book convention, but I've been to a couple anime conventions out here uh, in California. I've never been to a comic con either, and neither has Shorty. Really? Oh, yeah. I, was to, I was supposed to go to um, uh, MegaCon, but then you know, the Corona happened, so I was yeah, I had yeah. to cancel my uh, my everything. <laughs> I'd love to see a con over there; it'd be crazy. Yeah. Do you have any uh, tattoos, Mayor? No, I was saying I'm I'm definitely not in the tattoo club either. I I meant to. I always thought back in the day, I'm going to start one day, and then you just keep putting it off. Same thing yeah, with Sparks Fly and Farley, you know? Yeah, I've sketched yeah. one too, like, but I just, I, nah. <laughs> Are they super popular up there in Canada? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Everyone's getting What about tattoos. in Australia? Yeah. Simon? Tattoos are like a thing now, everywhere, worldwide. I think <laughs> so. so. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're almost the more odd person if you don't have one at all. They hurt. I have found that they very. Like they, like, they I'm like, what? You don't have any tattoos? That's crazy. Exactly. Uh, thank, you. You. thank you for coming and hanging out. Definitely have to catch the cartoon episode. Um, I do have a growing episode plan coming up as well. So definitely. Nice. That's awesome. But yeah, well. Um, on that note, I guess we could end the live stream because most of the chat is passing out. I guess it is midnight. I don't know what time it is everywhere there. 1230. Yeah, 1230. It's awesome. I'm going to make you big. Do you have anything going on in your channel? Yeah, on, on Sunday is my Easter special that I do. I do a weekly show with treasure hunters from Every around Sunday the world morning, come and chat about their channels. Right? And we channel share and, and what do you call it? Promote each other. Everyone subscribes to each other's channel and we're all friends. Yeehaw. But this Sunday it's Easter, so we're gonna eat peeps and chocolate till we get sick and just joke around. So nice. Oh, that'll be fun. <clears throat> it's usually at is it nine AM or ten AM? Because I do catch nine thirty our time, time, which sucks because I'm going off Eastern time. For them it's eleven thirty on Eastern time. But yeah, at 9 30, I gotta get up early. There's people who start earlier. And uh yeah. I gotta set my alarm. It's hard to get up at 7 a.m. to watch someone else's live stream and stuff, but you know comics with Bueller, he does his at what? Isn't it like five, 5 a.m.? 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I like sleeping a little more than that. I catch his a lot because I cannot get up at five a.m. to join that. Uh Simon, do you have anything coming up on your channel besides your stream with Cade? Um, yeah, so tonight, later tonight, I'm going to drop my AOK -okay video from Remy Q. Um, so that'll be probably when you guys wake up. Um, and I've um, got Whack Comics on my channel on Monday, which will be Sunday for you guys. Um, yeah. and I'm going to do like an MCU trivia with those two. Um, well, that'll be fun. I, yeah. Uh, I did a video at the comic shop the other day. I can't remember what we spoke about. Yeah, I can't remember what we spoke about, but they'll be coming I did out. Watch that one. Um, oh yeah, we did the Justice League one, but we filmed them um, last week, and I can't even remember what we spoke about. <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so over the next over the next two weeks, I'm going to hopefully do a lot more streams. So again, I'll try to organize that sexy cover battle with you, Tori, and um, we'll see what you got. <laughs> I'm so excited! All right, Tricky, you got anything coming up on your channel, or coming up in general that you're going to be in? Any auctions? Anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, I sell at a lot of auctions. <laughs> just be uh, posted on Instagram. Like, you guys can find me on Instagram. I'm always online on Instagram. So if you need anything or uh, want to check out my content, you can go there. I do have a YouTube, um, slowly growing. Not a lot of content on there. Um, thanks for having me. I will be back for the cartoon animation episode. I have some animation sales to show. Some I want to talk about like Ren and Simpy and John Crick for Lucy. Um, so it should be pretty fun. And, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah. Her? I know you got your teacher's lounge. What do I have going on? Yeah, we just did the teacher's lounge yesterday. Um, go check it out on the Rewind uh, if you have some 
some time. I also do this show, Not Near Mint. Um, we had a really good, um, really good creator. Uh, the creator of Black. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever read that comic book. If you haven't, pick it up and trade because it's going Black to be a movie. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. Really good. See, the creator is really cool. I kind of like was a little starstruck. So go see me just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up, Professor Comics? <laughs> hey, Professor. Thanks for joining. Um, you should be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cool dude. Um, yes. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Besides that, I ain't got nothing really coming up. I might be posting something on my uh, channel soon, uh, so just 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 be subbed up and uh, look around. And if you don't have me on IG, um, it's mind shift, mind underscore shift, mind with a Y. <laughs> every yeah. day, see and be sure you tell him happy birthday. Because <laughs> every day is a birthday with mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shorty, your turn. What do you got going on? I won't make you big because I know you don't want to be on the solo screen. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central, we have the Saturday morning cartoon crew auction <laughs> where we'll find me hosting that on my channel. You'll have um, Lady Fantastic, who was here earlier, along with a bunch of our other panel um, that will be there selling um, tomorrow on YouTube. So check it out. Other than that, never know. So um, next weekend, I will be on the hunt. So I will have to shift this show to either probably the following weekend. But next Saturday, um, Shorty is going to be hosting a party stream on her channel. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Shorty, for hitting I'm 500 hosting. subs finally. Yeah, you're, well, it's going to be on your channel. Because you hit 500 subs, but I'm hosting. Oh, you're just, you're just streaming it. <laughs> well, yeah. there we go. I learned something new every day. Yeah. So we are going to celebrate Shorty finally hitting 500 subs. It's going to be Ooh. exciting. You know, <laughs> randomness, fun prizes. You never know. That's awesome. Randomness for sure. Craziness. But, uh, and so other than that, Friday, the hunt for me on Tony Sanders' channel. Um, I am bringing a new lady wrestler out as a tag team partner to go against the Banger Brothers for that two hundred dollar <laughs> bounty on their heads. <laughs> I'm hoping I get it this time. Oh, that's I mean, their heads. Yeah. I don't care about the bounty. I just want their heads, man cave and a. I go. I beat who that, so I'm coming for them too. Uh, All right. Let's see. Anything else going on that I can think of? Um, other than that. Yeah, no, uh, we will definitely be planning the cartoon stream. And on there, I'll announce that Iron Man giveaway. This one was a last minute kind of planned stream, so definitely. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for hanging out. And on that note, peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Smoke weed every day.